<laughs> Hi guys. Welcome everyone. I'm not sure who all is going to be on today because it is a holiday weekend here in the U.S. And um, so I'm not sure if anyone will hop on. I was supposed to have done this at like, hello to whomever's on. <laughs> um, I was supposed to have done this earlier, but I had to go to my other house, hello, <laughs> and uh, check in with my dad's dogs and make sure they had to go out to go potty and all that. <laughs> Hi, Linda. How are you? <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to turn my fan off. Let me go do that. But I have a really cool haul, as you can see from the little pumpkins here. A haul, a, my 2000 winner. Oh, you're good. I'm so glad. Carolyn, hello. How are you? Um, hi, Elaine. <laughs> um, I have a haul and my 2K winner announcement. Uh, what I'm going to do for my 3K winner. Um, show some love. I'm finally doing that video. Um, and then chit chat and whatever. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm gonna turn my fan off because it has a lot of noise, so. Hold on one second, I'll be right back. Hold on, hold on. Sorry guys, totally forgot to turn it off. Oh yeah. I'm back. Uh, hi Sarah, how are you? <laughs> I've got such a cool haul. I hope you guys are doing good. I don't know if you all are living or live in the U.S. Um, Sarah, I think you do. Elaine, I think you do. Um, but I'm not sure about the others. So uh, I didn't go anywhere for this um, hol U.S. holiday, Labor Day um, in Texas. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's hot there too, isn't it? So it's hot today. It wasn't so hot the last several days, which was Blessed. North Carolina. Oh, it's probably hot there too, huh? Um, Linda, it was cool. It was nice. It was like only in the 80s. Gorgeous here. Then it always does this. It turns into a nightmare again. Louisiana. Oh, okay. My dad lived in Louisiana for a long time. Pennsylvania. Hmm. It's, I can't remember if Pennsylvania gets hot at this time of year. Hey, Dal. Hey, Babsy. So, Barb, right? New Jersey. I think it's hot there, too. <laughs> well, I am sick of the heat, I'll tell you. I mean, it was gorgeous in the 80s, and then it just, and then it just went, I should say, went up. Went up in Barbara. Yes. I thought so, because I remember seeing you from Anita Fanitas. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to jump into the haul, but after the, sorry, my hair is kind of, it's like kind of humid here. So when it's humid, I just let my hair go natural, which is kind of big curls or wavy. I don't even straighten it because it's like, why bother? Um, but I went to the 99 cent store. Oh, thank you, Dal. <laughs> I feel like I look like a mess. <laughs> um, I went to the... 99 cent store last night, very late, right before closing. My dad and I both needed some groceries. Like we get our produce there. He doesn't eat a lot of meat and I don't eat at all. Live in Florida where it's, I know, I don't think I can, uh, nope. Hey Dell, how are you? <laughs> I don't think I could live in Florida. It. I need a break from the heat for sure. Um, I don't like a whole lot of cold. I like it chilled and that's it. I love the seasons too. Our seasons here are very short. I mean, we don't get a clear four seasons, but we do get the changing of the leaves and you know, a little bit. Um, but I have some exciting stuff to show you. And I went to the 99 cent store. Oh yeah, you do have a long winter Dow. I see. I feel sorry for people that have long winters because not only does it affect the people, it affects like the animals and I think of that. And then what if you're elderly and you're homebound and you can't get groceries? I think of all these things and 
now I understand why people move to Florida when they get older. It's a little bit easier, you know, to get around in regular, beautiful weather. But um, so my haul was we were getting a bunch of stuff. And then, of course, I had to go down the Halloween, the fall um, aisles. And I, my poor dad, I felt so bad. I was like, Dad, just go get, grab whatever you want. Hey, kid. I'm like, I'm going to just grab some stuff here real quick in the aisles, you know. So I'm literally like grabbing all these pumpkins and we get a little chilly spell in January, February. It's always humid. Dad, where do you live? I, I don't know why I thought this, but I thought you lived in Canada. But I, that's Dow. But I thought, I thought you did too. So I'm grabbing like all these pumpkins and I'm trying to like walk the aisle you know without a basket and my dad's like what are you doing I'm like I didn't know where you were so I got these pumpkins and I love neutrals which is no surprise oh Dell, I didn't know that okay yeah oh yeah okay so now I understand <laughs> so I got these little pumpkins that are a pretty good size you live in South Florida, but you hate Florida. Oh, do you, Leslie? Is it because of the heat and the humidity? Because, you know, when it gets humid here, it seems like when I go feed my feral cats, there's a ton of roaches wherever I feed them because it's humid and they're like thriving off the food I'm leaving and, you know, the heat. Oh, they're nasty little creatures, aren't they? So look at this big pumpkin for a dollar. It's a pretty good size if I put it like next to my head. It's bigger than the Dollar Tree ones. Um, I don't have one right here, but it's like a, no, it's like a, um, oh my God, I've never seen a roach. They're disgusting. They are, oh God, I remember the first roach I saw. I was 17. I was in Hawaii and our hotel had them. So I think we changed hotels because it was ridiculous, disgusting, but it's humid there, you know, only <laughs> on TV. Yeah, they're so scary. So I got this one and it has that sugary, you know, stuff on it, almost like Epsom salt looking faux sugary. And I got a cream one. Oh, that's true, Leslie. I do appreciate that we get um, changes in the weather here. Ah, <gasps> you do get snow there? I didn't know that. Well, let's see. You, are you on the coast, near the coast? Oh, that doesn't make sense. No, never mind. You must be closer inland, Del. So I got a cream and the brown. I think the brown is gorgeous. If they had more of the brown, I would have bought more because they're so beautiful. Okay, then I got, look at these. Oh my gosh, I love these. These are a nice big size too. A dollar, 99 cents. And they have that chevron. And you guys know I love burlap. And um, I know, I love the coating on those so much. The burlap though is my favorite. Oh, you live close to the ocean. Okay, then that does make sense. Okay. Oh, how nice. How wonderful to say you live only six or seven miles from the ocean. So I got two of the orange ones of these. And they have a pretty little stem. And they have the jute twine in between the little sections, which I kind of like. Um, two of those. Excuse me. Oh, that one. Some of these stems got chipped. I don't know. I try to pick the best ones always, but, and then I got uh, three of the brown chevron ones. Now you can see this one's not, you can see the, the seam in it, but I, I'm okay with that. But I love the brown stems. Isn't that pretty? I just love these. Oh my gosh, I love burlap so much. I'm so, I've always loved burlap and always been obsessed. <laughs> um, you like the brown. Yeah, I, I think I like this brown and then the other brown too. That's why I bought more of the other brown. I used to live in Little Town, Pace, Florida. I miss it. We never go to the beach. Just don't like it too hot. Yeah, I get burned. If I lived in, oh my gosh, I would get burned like the Dickens. That's for sure. 
I love burlap. Thank you, Patty. Look at this little gem. It says, be blessed. I know it's backwards. Be blessed. Be beautiful. And I know the it needs to be filled in, but it is carved in, so I'll just take like a marker or something. But if anything, I can just turn it around. I just like the fact that it's white and it looks like carved wood. Thank you, Sarah. Isn't this just adorable? So then I got um, a light orange one. I got all of these at the 99 cent store. I know, I hate, I feel so guilty showing you guys these things because I know they don't have them there, but they are made by Momentum. And I feel like, <laughs> which also goes to the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, all these places. I feel like we should contact them and say, can we just buy directly from you? <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> I love this light orange. I'm, I'm okay with this orange. I think it's really pretty. And I like this white one too. I'm gonna fill this one in. I think I'll just turn this one around because it's missing the lettering more. I like it this way better. They're very heavy. heavy. Um, okay. So there's those. Not any. I know. Kit. I forgot, Kit. You live in. You live in. Oh, is it Pennsylvania? No, 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 no. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Sun, oh, I use sunscreen year round because I do get burned just driving because I have such a long commute sometimes. I get burned on like, you know, my driver's side and like my forearm will get really badly burned. Pennsylvania. Okay. Yes, I always carry water in the car too. Hey, Cheryl. Oh, you live in California too, Jeannie? Did I show you guys my mug that I got from the 99 cent store? I know it's backwards. It says, hocus pocus, I need coffee to focus. And it has like a little witch's broom. <laughs> so cute. I just love it. Okay, I'm drinking water and green tea because I've been behind today. Thank you, Dow. So you guys saw me haul these buckets, but they were in the um, um, the harvest version when I put on my mantles. Um, and look at these. So they say Happy Halloween, and it's got like a little vintage witch on there, which I love vintage Halloween. And they have like um, kind of like a sp spritz of white all over them, which is fine. Um, I love the label, the little buffalo check background. And then I got this one I had to get because I have kitties. <laughs> and this one says trick or treat. Isn't that cute? Oh, thank you, Kit. I have a lot of black kitties because... I tend to, when I rescue them, if they're not well, I'll keep them. I mean, as you know, within reason. Um, and especially the black ones, because people do crazy things to the to the black ones. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I know, aren't they adorable? Especially the kitty one. I love that vintage coloring too. Thank you, Linda. Then I got more of these. You guys saw me paint these white and cream for my mantle. These are pretty bright, you have to admit. I mean, I love black hats too because they look so sleek and just gorgeous and they remind me of Halloween. Um, these were 99 cents also. Um, and I'm not gonna paint these. I'm gonna leave them orange for Halloween. I like orange for Halloween. I can handle the orange for Halloween. Now I'm gonna put them in the buckets again. Oh, cinders, how cute. Love it. I have kitties too. Oh, you have kitties too, Cheryl? Yay for the kitty people. I was not a cat person. Um, I was really a dog person, but um, I got, I love animals. And so I got turned on to the rescue and um, I just couldn't turn my back on them. So I've been doing it for several years now. But um, anyway, so I'm going to put these in these buckets and I'll show you I'm not I, I don't have you have you don't have cats on only two dogs okay oh I know where you can get some cats <laughs> I'll drive them to you <laughs> I know kit 
Oh my gosh, just had one shot the other day and it, oh no, Kit. Oh no, Cheryl. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love my kitties. I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, don't cry, don't cry. Oh gosh. I just hate, why do people do that? Why? They're such weirdos. Oh, Del. I know, I love my babies. So the one little mischievous black cat, she's the smallest one I have. She is so mischievous. I can't leave anything on my counter that I'm working on. Um, they, she'll, like for instance, I had a bunch of my, like I took, I know, heartless people. You know what, they gotta meet their maker though one day. And so when they do, there's a price to pay for these things that they do. Um, I had a bunch of flowers I took off to put on my three-tiered stand that I'm doing for fall. And um, I had these and my little Dollar Tree clip pumpkins. I don't have any right here right now. I've been hiding them because she bats them off. And, um, and they get all over the house. I don't know where they're at most of the time. So I guess I need to hot glue them. She took in three brothers to help them and just left the older one. Oh, I'm sorry, Kit. I don't understand what's wrong with people. I just pray for them because they're going to have to pay, really, at the end of the day. Karma, too. So... Oh, my God. 21 years, Del? Holy... Holy cat. I mean, if I have all my cats for 21 years, holy Moses. So, <laughs> it's so sad to lose animals. Don't even get me started because I'll cry again. <laughs> oh, I, oh gosh. Oh, dogs were rescued by all. Oh, how sweet of him, Cheryl. So, okay, don't think, okay, I need to wipe my nose because I, I'm sniffling now because I've been getting emotional. But so think of these without. So I'm going to put them with styrofoam and then some. Um, I don't I don't it taught, took me over to. Yeah, I know. I, I OK, let me go wipe my nose real quick. Um, sorry, <laughs> such a mess. Oh, my gosh. Anything to do with like animals or like children or elderly people or, or hopeless you know or helpless people that don't have a voice <sighs> i think i'm in the wrong field <laughs> but anyway so i'm gonna put styrofoam in here and then make little topiaries again i think that would be kind of cute i like the look little vintage i know dal i know you're the same way too um I wish more people were like you and all of you ladies on here. Boy, do I. Uh, there should be more people like us. <laughs> then I got these. These are not, these they call ribbon, but they're not really ribbon. So let me, let me show you all the colors I got. Me too, Kit. Me too. I never turn my back. Even the people that wronged me, and if they need help, I'll still help them. Um, so I got a lighter. This looks like the one from the Dollar Tree, you know? Um, and then there's a darker version, like a brown. So isn't that cool? So I think you can use them for like, put on your runners or on your wreaths, um, make bows, I can't really make bows. I still have not really mastered that. Um, I like the dark orange. Isn't that pretty? And then the, mm, it's like a olivey green. I like that. Um, and I'm gonna use this for DIY. I wanna use all of them for DIY, but for 99 cents, and they are, um, it's called Burlap Ribbon by Momentum. And I don't know how many yards are in here, but I think it's like three yards. Yeah, I really love the colors. 
And I like muted colors, so I'm okay with these. I just love them. 99 cents. I couldn't believe it. I should have got more, but I was with my dad, and I hate buying a lot of stuff. I don't want him to, you know, be like, what are you getting all that for? <laughs> then I got Dow. You would appreciate this. You know I made those um, uh, faux muffins. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'll show you in a second. So Dow made her own version. Get a roll of ribbon from the dollar store and one pipe cleaner and practice over and over. Yeah, you're right, Dell. You're right. I see. I don't have pipe cleaners. I don't. That's probably part. I was using um, you know, those ones that you get with the sandwich bags, <laughs> or like floral wire, but that just doesn't work the same. I got these little um Halloween cupcake um holder paper um, holders, whatever they're called, cupcake tins, pup. <laughs> paper cupcake holders, I guess, <laughs> with a little haunted house. It's Happy Halloween. I know it's backwards. And then they have little toothpicks to put on top to decorate in the little pumpkin and a little bat. They kind of look vintage. Liners, thank you. Gosh. I swear, you get in front of a camera, Shannon, and you can't remember anything. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to make some versions of these. Um, yeah, I think you're right, Del. Um, I mean, the bows that, you know, Kim and Arlen make are amazing. And I just, I get, like, to a certain point, I, like, give up. And that's why I try to keep my... And it's not that it's hard. It's, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but, um, I, I think it's the wire. It's frustrating, but I'm going to make my DIY muffins in here for Halloween. And I will show you my muffins in a second. Maybe grab them They're right here. Walking away for a second. Right here. Okay. So I made these for the holidays. They're to look like little cherry cordial cupcakes, muffins. And I'll, there's a little DIY video I'll link at the end. I always forget to do that kind of stuff. But um, so Dell, no, Dell, I'm sorry, made in these. It is, huh? I know. I think I will try because I get frustrated with that wire. So I'll make a smaller version and use this and so I can take them out because these are actually hot glued into the tin. So this is all from the Dollar Tree. These are grapes. This is a chamois for the icing and the burlap. Now the burlap, my store doesn't sell, but everyone else seemed to be able to get burlap there. Anyways, I was inspired by Dow. Okay, that's good to know, Dow. And I can't wait to, to do that because I'm doing a challenge for, I think, one, two, three different Halloween treats. And I want to do one of them as faux. So I thought that was a good idea. Then I got these little adorable bells. Oh my gosh, that's right, Kit. I can't believe you've done that many wreaths. Good Lord. Look at these little bells. They're little jack-o'-lantern faces. Oh my gosh, aren't they so cute? I love that they're like, they are a metallic, which I'm okay with. They're not a metallic metallic though, you know what I mean? Um, anyways, they've got such cute little adorable faces on there and they're little bells. And um, oops, they have like a little string that you can hang them by. Two weeks, Kit. Wow. I hope I hope they love them. I'm sure they will. Good Lord. Tell them that's their Christmas gift. <laughs> so I got two of these, and I'm going to hang them on my spooky tree when I do that for Halloween. This is, like, non-holiday related, but they do have some canister theirs. Um, oh, hey, Angela. How are you? You have those bells, um, Kit? Oh my gosh, how cool. 
This is like, I had um, a silver top one and it broke. But for 99 cents, I really like the look of this and it has a measure on both sides. So cups and ounces and then milliliters on one side. Hi, Selena. I'm just doing my 99 cent store haul and my soap dispenser broke because I am a habitual hand washer. <laughs> it's probably me that broke it. So I got another one. I love that this one has a copper top, 99 cents. And then I got, oh, I'm gonna wait for that because that's too cute. I don't wanna show you yet. <laughs> Hi, Christine. I got more of their um, eucalyptus. I like this eucalyptus because it dries, or how they have it dried, it's really like a muddy um, olive color, which looked pretty good on my mantle, so I got another one. They didn't have it for a long time, but it was $1.99. And look what they put with it. It doesn't make sense to me. So you have these beautiful leaves. You have this fake carnation that they make out of paper, which is nice, but it's like, why would you put that with that? And then the, these two little twig twirly things with um, little oops, balls on it, silver balls, you know? I'm like, that's the weirdest arrangement I've ever seen. <laughs> but I got it for the eucalyptus. So I just needed one more to fill up the mantle. Thank you, Dow. That's so nice. I, I wasn't sure about it. Ticking. This is called ticking. Okay. So for $1.99, I got that. And then I got, um, these are the two. Now I've seen other um, YouTubers haul these, but um, they were bigger. So yeah, I don't like the bling so much. Welcome, it says. Oh, I didn't know, Kit. Okay, that's good to know, ticking. So I finally got a little red red truck and it's an, you could tell it looks like a mm, newer truck almost. So that's okay for 99 cents. And it has like a little pumpkin in the back. So it's like a, um, a yard pick, you know? <laughs> so don't get mad at me, but I was thinking of taking it off, like cutting the wire so I can put it like shorter into like a, a wreath or something. I don't know. No, I love the homemade country look. Me too, Selena. So I finally found 99 cents. I couldn't believe it. Okay, the next one I've seen Zane at home with Zane. Thank you guys. Um, he got this one in a larger version. Look how cute it is. It's like a little old vehicle. Almost looks like a bug, but it, like a bug met a Rolls Royce. Oh, remember those where they had the hood of a Rolls Royce? And um, it's kind of rounded like a pumpkin. And it so, says welcome on the license plate. And um, and it has like, it's all metal. And they had a different color. They had a teal or like a muted teal and an orange, but I like this one. But his was bigger. And I think the 99 cent store had the bigger ones that had like a hanging sign that said welcome at the bottom. And I think I didn't get it because it was $1.99 because I'm so cheap for myself. But I just thought this was so cute to put in a wreath or if I wanted to take off the metal and put it in like a tear tray or something. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Oh, I know, Selena. But you know what? In your area, don't you have like a alligator something store? It's like a dollar store. Oh, Christine, where do you live again? You live in Florida, right? Yes. So he got his at the Family Dollar, which we have one in nearby. And it was bigger. And he only paid like $3 for the bigger one, I think. It was 3 or 5 Delaware. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so cute. And the little tires are, you can, the cutouts, you could see that. I know you can't see it against my cabinets. 
Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I might put this one just the way it is outside in like my plants or something. I don't know, it's too cute. Wish they had, they did try to Ottawa to see daughter go to Dollar Tree. Um, his is really actually three dimensional truck that you can, oh, you can? Oh, I forgot about that. I think you're right. Cause it's kind of like Kim's from Sweet Daisy Creations, how she had the pumpkin one. And then it had like a, you know, or like a basket, metal basket. And then it had the other end was like the front. I think you're right. And I think it was only like $5. I couldn't believe it. I need to go there for sure. I always forget about that store. I don't know why. Um, then I got, oh, that's it from the 99 actually. But I got this last week. And so for those of you who didn't see, it says, hello fall. And they have this in the red truck, but I, I like this one better. Kind of reminds me of my dad's 57 pickup that he had before I came along, <laughs> before I was born. He sold it right before I was born. And it was teal. And um, let, me, let me turn this on. It has little headlights. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, my God. I love it. But so the little lights are popped out, you know, like... Um, they kind of come out a little bit, they're plastic. And it's like a metal, oh my gosh. Hey, Layla, so cute I, for $1.99. I know. I know, I'm in love with it too. I almost bought another one. I'm like, why do I need another one? I don't need another one. What's wrong with me? Because it's so cute. I, I tend to buy multiples for my business. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you. Let's see. Let me talk about real quick, real quick. And then I'll get into who won um, the 2000 giveaway. And I'm so happy because she's so, so nice. So it's a woman. Um Oh, your Dollarama, really? So what is the price range at Dollarama? Because here at the 99 cent store, it goes from 99 cents, majority of everything is 99. Then there's like a little bit more pricier things. Like I always got this cute Halloween um, canvas. It had little lights in it that you could turn on, but it was a painting and it said spooky spells. It was so cute and it was $4.99. And I didn't get it, but I think I want to get it now. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. See, some things can be as high as $7.99 at the, um, 99 cent store, but it's very few, like, it's like, uh, decor stuff, you know? So these are all the pumpkins that I got plus more, you know, I got, uh, three of the brown ones of these two of the orange and burlap in case you guys missed it. And I got all of these. I know, I'm, I feel so, oh my God, I feel so lucky. Every time I go to the 99 cent store, I feel like I hit the jackpot. Oh my God, I just love that store. I wish they were nationwide. Oh, and I got these. These little topiaries again. I got two more of this. And then these little buckets. And the little, um, Halloween jack-o'-lantern bells. These are so cute. Okay, real quick. <clears throat> so I wanted to do a video on show some love and I haven't done it, done it. And it's been over two weeks ago, maybe even close to three. And I told the YouTuber, thank you. I love these pumpkins. They're so cute. Um, that I would wanted to do it because it, it's a, in a special place in my heart. I'm going to write to them and need their stores on the East Coast. They have no idea, like, how well they would do. I mean, my gosh. Oh, I mean, they. if I was, like, their, you know, executive, I would expand. You know, start from the West Coast and maybe hit Midwest and then definitely get the East Coast. 
Um, so show me some love was a video I was supposed to have done a few weeks ago. And the host of it was a challenge was the lovely Miss Miss V, which she does awesome videos. She puts out a video every single day and she works so hard at everything she does. She does such a wonderful job. I mean, everything that she does, you know, you can tell she puts time into it and she's such a beautiful person. And so I really wanted to do this because it was close to my heart and I really love her. Um, and it was, um, and I'll link her channel down below. She's such a nice person. She has like a ministry too. And um, so it was called Show Me, Show the Love. Oh, hi. No, you're fine. I, we just have been on for a little bit. Um, and I'll show the stuff again that I held. But her challenge was not to show someone in your family some love or someone you know had to be like a stranger. And that was right up my alley because every winter, what I do in summer, I, I in my trunk, I always carry bottles of water and I always carry... Um, some bags of dog food and cat food, because believe it or not, um, homeless people out here do have their cats and dogs um, for their companions. And I worry about both of them, you know, and um, we don't know their situation. I don't judge. They are human. They feel, they, they're hungry, they're cold, they're hot. So whatever they may have done, we don't know. It could have been a loss of a job, a uh, foreclosure, um, one thing spiraled into another. It could have been like they have mental issues. It could be something like they did get on drugs, but then they had mental issues because of it. So um, anything that you all do makes a difference because their survival is daily. So it it is imperative that we try to help our fellow human and not judge and if I'm going into the store and I see someone outside you know I know a lot of people I know so many people that are nurses and doctors they don't want to give to the homeless like money because they say they see them in the hospitals and you know and I said well I'm not one to judge but um, I'm gonna get them something to eat and, you know, that's just, I, I think the Lord would want me to do that. And that's right. Not, not everyone is on drugs. Um, you got a rescue dog. Oh, that's so nice, Christine. Yeah, I mean, who am I to judge? Who are we all to judge? That's not our place to. It's the Lord, <laughs> the final day, our final judgment is when judgment day comes right and so you better be sure you have it all figured out <laughs> by that time because we don't know when we're gonna go but that doesn't mean that we should be doing these nice things for that reason you know we're, we are supposed to be here to help others because they're suffering and um that's right. We haven't finished living yet. And, and our life can be just taken like that. And so I want to make sure I can do everything that I can, um, even if they are not on drugs. It's a previous problem. That's right. You know, I met this gal. She was right by the 99 cent store and um, she was pregnant and she had track marks on her um, arm right here. And I, I handed her cash and she was... Um, Oh, that's so nice. Le Layla? Lala? Layla? Is it Layla or Lala? Am I saying it wrong? So I, I basically do that too. Um, so I go to the Goodwill or the Dollar Tree. I try not to buy um, like the knit gloves because the cold just goes right through them. So I do try to buy vinyl or leather, even though I don't buy leather for me. Layla. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I don't understand. I don't understand why people don't want to be bothered. I think it's, it's, I don't know. I don't understand, but you know, that's on them. So I try to do what I can. And in the summertime, oh, I'm sorry, back to the pregnant lady. So I, I said, oh, I said, you are doing drugs. 
And I said, those are check marks. And I wasn't trying to be judgmental, but I was because she was pregnant. So in a way, so I got kind of judgy for a second. She goes, oh no, I've been clean for months. So then, um, sorry. <laughs> I asked my nurse friend, hey, Debra. And I asked the police officer that lives here. I said, um, I said, how, how long do track marks, you know, show, you know, like scabs? And they said, oh, that's fresh, like within a couple weeks, you know. So I know, okay, so she lied to me. So then I knew from that point on when I saw her just to give her food and, um, and I even said, you know, if you need a social worker, I can call one for you and get it all set up because she's pregnant. And I haven't seen her since, but uh, I think I saw her one time, but I, I was on my way to the freeway and I was late in meeting a client, so I couldn't stop and pull over. But um, anyways, so they're gonna lie sometimes and those are the people that use and that's fine, but they still get hungry, they still are sick, they still feel the cold, they still feel the heat. And so my thing is, I try to pack water in my trunk. I try to um, pack cat and dog food in my trunk. And then I have, um, what else do I have? I have, uh, when it's winter time, gloves, socks, yes. Um, I buy coats from the Goodwill. I would buy them food before. I know, I don't, I know. I know I shouldn't have given her money. Ah, that drives me crazy. Hey, Miss V. Okay, this is a different Miss V than I, that I was talking about. <laughs> but um, anyways, and so whenever I go into the store, I try to um, bring something out for them and their animal, you know, in addition to what I have. And I put, I always carry bags in my trunk and I put everything in there. I'm good, Miss V. Thank you. How are you? It's hot here again. <laughs> and... That's for summertime. The winter is like, you know, the coats, I'll get them cleaned. If I can wash them, I'll wash them from Goodwill. So I'll have maybe like, I don't know, I go through like, I buy 10 and I, I put them in bags with like a size on them. And um, yes, oh, I'm so glad to see you. That's so great. Um, don't feel bad about being on. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> and, um, and then um, I try to put the size on there and then when they say, oh, i an extra large or a large, then I can just then put the socks, the gloves in that bag, you know, whatever, like water or food or something. And then, um, like on the holidays, my dad and I were cooking dinners and then putting them in like, um, Tupperware and, distributing them on Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. But what we learned about that is I think I would rather do it on off days because they're, they're most likely getting to the shelters and getting like a Thanksgiving meal. So they don't aren't really needing it at those times. So I, I've learned that. Um, but and then for animals, what I do. So that's winter time. Anytime I see somebody I really try to help. Um, and you know, I listen to what they have to say. I touch them. I hug them. I hold their hand. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I know Selena, I know there's a lot of homeless here in California too, because it's like, you know, not horrible weather. I know, dang it. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? I need someone to slap me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, so what I, I do try to, you know, if I'm going through a drive through and I'm getting something for myself or maybe my dad also, I buy an extra little bit. Um, as far as people, oh, that's so nice, Kit. Yes, yes, Angela. Oh, yes, that's right. Angela did her video on the same thing. And it was she gets the $5 Caesar pizza. And then she distributes it, you know, it's so nice. Oh, my gosh, I'm such a crier. I hate it. 
<laughs> oh my god i'm such a crier i can't help it it's like i'm so passionate about a lot of things like animals and people and you know my loved ones and <sighs> okay let me drink some water real quick but <clears throat> whatever you can do if you're picking up um animals hey karen <laughs> Oh, thank you, Angela. If you're picking up some drive through meals and you're going to be, might as well pick up something for someone that you saw homeless right right nearby and just drop it off, you know. Um, I've, I have only had, I think, one person deny the food, you know, that I try to give to them. I think they were just, I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh, he said he was sick. That's right. He wasn't feeling good. So, um Anyways, so that's one thing you can do. Just, you know, if you don't want to, like, distribute coats and gloves, which is awesome if you can. I've given my own personal items. My dad has two when I see someone. Um, I, can't, I can't handle seeing someone cold or hot, you know, and they're so cold and they're shivering. I just can't imagine, you know, I'm sleeping in a house and I'm cold in my house and then they are outside in the elements. I just can't imagine. So, I, oh, and I do buy, lately I've been buying, or, okay, lately I got some free yoga mats. I did give them to some people and they said they were wonderful because they could lay on them and it doesn't hurt their bones because they have to lay on the cement. Well, now at the 99 cent store, they, they sell brand new ones for, I think, $4.99 or $3.99. And um, so I bought um, three of them. And before I could show you guys in um, a video, I had already distributed them. So, <laughs> And I, I mainly try to give them to the elderly people that I see out there. I can't imagine. Um, you know, you have to approach people with caution, but also remember they're scared too. They don't know why you're coming up to them. So remember that. Um, and then, um, so now going into the animals, the other thing that I do for show some love <laughs> is I've been feeding like feral cats. I just um, saw a need for it. People dump their cats in certain places like at Lowe's or Home Depot parking lots. Um, and then they multiply. And um, so every, I would say every week I buy a big uh, 40 pound, 44 pound bag of food from Walmart. And I used to buy the good stuff, but I can't, I can't afford it anymore. And so I sometimes have it delivered. And then sometimes like I forget to reorder. And I just, um, and I could not believe, I know, and I know Cheryl, I know, I know. There's so many in, in San Francisco and it's so cold there. It's so windy and cold from the ocean. Oh my God. Ugh, it, it breaks my heart. Um, so yes, I do buy blankets. Also, yoga mats are going to be my new thing to buy for the winter. Um, I'm going to start buying some more. They do sell them at Goodwill and um, you can get them. They're almost the same price though that you can get them for brand new at... 99 cent store. So if you can, um, I know it's so sad. I, I remember going into San Francisco. It's so many and they're like older people, elderly, and they're usually like veterans and, um, disabled. We lost everything. We're homeless. Oh my gosh, Selena. See, it can happen to anybody. Absolutely. I always say you're always a paycheck away because what if you lost your job? Okay. You lost your job and, um, yeah, they do here too. You got to be resourceful if you're, I always thought, okay, if I was homeless, not that I plan on it, but if I was, I would go to a library. I would keep up on my parents as much as I possibly could so I could stay in a library. I'm a big reader anyways. And I would just read all day long. And then at night, I would have some place I'd have to find that was safe to go. But that's the thing. There, there's so many places. Like, where do you go? Where do you go? Exactly. I mean, I think you have to have faith in God and help you get through things. And you have to 
you know, you have to be diligent about keep trying and it's hard, but accept help when you can. And I, you know, um, you can't be too proud to accept help and I'm happy to help, but I do buy blankets uh, at Goodwill or at the 99 cent store because sometimes they do go on clearance and I just buy all that they have and I'll give those out. And um, what else? So that's mainly it. Yoga mats, blankets, gloves, socks, um, uh, um, coats, and um, food, you know, when I see them. And um, cat food, dog food, <laughs> other animals. I've given away flea treatment too. Um, I've offered to call for a social worker. Oh shoot, I missed that comment. Um, and do what you can, you know, you don't have to do everything, just do what you can. If you're going through a drive-thru and you're picking up dinner, hey Jean, how are you? <laughs> Pick up something that if you saw a homeless person, go pick up an extra meal and, you know, drive it to them. And, um, and if you're scared, keep your, you know, your doors locked and then just roll down your window part way and then hand it to them. Um, and grab maybe like a water or something. Um, oh, what was that? Otherwise, I have to throw away. Yeah, I mean, we as Americans, and I think for a lot of other countries too, we tend to throw away a lot of stuff and it's a shame. Like I feel shameful doing that, but there are times where I've let it go too long and I'm like, well, I don't want to get sick. So I try to only buy what I need. So that's why I go grocery shopping every week and I don't like it, but I do it. <laughs> and, um, but anyways, so the, the other thing that I do is for feral cats and people dump their cats, they procreate. And so I started a, um, or I started working with a program through the SPCA in my area and you become their caregiver and um, you take care of that feral cat group and you, you trap them. You, so you feed them, give them water, you trap them. Once you trap them, you take them to the SPCA, SPCA on the weekend and then they get fixed, they get their shots and all of that. Um, let's see, my kids now help others like we help and gave them Christmas. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, always pay it forward. And, you know, I hear people say pay it forward like um, paying for someone's um, Starbucks and in line or when you go through a toll bridge, you know, to pay for the car ahead of you. It's like those people don't need it, okay? <laughs> they can obviously afford it. Now, if it looks like their vehicle is, you know, um, a little broke down and, you know, you could see that they're struggling a little bit. That'd be different, you know, but I guarantee you people who don't have money don't go to Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks because I can't afford to. I make my own coffee. I make my own. Um, oh, that's so nice, Dell. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so good to hear that there's good people out there. Um, but I don't go to Starbucks, so I don't pay for someone ahead of me. Now, if I was in the grocery store and I saw someone struggling, um, I buy their groceries and, or my dad has done it too. Um, absolutely. So with the cats though, it's been, I've been doing this for quite a few years. If you are not willing to feed these kitties in your neighborhood, cause just feeding them doesn't just work. You have to trap them too. And, um, you can rent the traps at, um, the SPCA, they, they lend them out to you, basically. You si they sign them out to you. And if you're willing to put in the legwork, great. But if you're not, then just call the SPCA and say, hey, there's like a load of cat here or homeless dogs. You know, call it in. I always call in um, when I see animals locked in the car and it's a hot day. Now in California, they have this um, baseball bat law where you can break the window I don't know all of the, you know, the ins and outs of it, but you can look it up and you can literally get the animal out that way if they're in distress. Obviously, they're going to be in distress for more than 30 seconds. The car heats up so fast. So Governor Brown put through that initiative and so you can break the car window to get the animal out. Oh, that's so great, Jean. 
Oh, shoot. Who is that? I just, shoot, I missed somebody. Um, so I've been doing this for about seven years now. I think it's been, I thought it was a lot less, but it's been about seven years. So I trap them and I bought my own traps. It was just easier. And then I go get them fixed. Oh, hi, Nancy. How are you? And um, they get fixed and they get their shots and and then I hold them for about two to three days, depending if they're male or female, and then I re-release them. I make sure they're okay, though, because sometimes they aren't doing so well when they come out of surgery. A lot of restaurants to give away food. They would prefer... I know. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that just crazy? They would rather throw away the food than to give it away to somebody because it's a liability, and that's ridiculous. Oh gosh, Jean, I love my kitties too. Every time, every night when I go feed the cats, um, sometimes I'm on the phone with Angela from Angela's Hangout and I'm like, hold on a second. I said, I gotta go feed the cats. They literally circle my car. They, they hear my car and they come running out and it's so sweet. And I have two different cars, but they know the sound of both of them. They know it's me. And they start meowing and I'm trying to be incognito sometimes because business owners don't like it. Well, it's an approved um, thing too, so it's too bad. <laughs> Good night, Christine. Thank you for joining. Um, and so anyways, uh, I do do that. I feed them every night and I give them water and I trap any of the new, you know, uh, kitties that have been trapped or, or born, the kittens and all, of, you know, some cats I can't catch. I've tried so hard. Some have been hit, some have died, but that's what I do. But if, if you don't want to put in that, all that work, it's not for everyone. Um, you can definitely call your SPCA and just report that there's a bunch of cats. I think that there needs to be someone there to care for them. It's called a caregiver for that feral colony. And they know exactly, you know, they might say, oh, there is. And so-and-so goes out there. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, Carmen, you're so funny. Thank you. I need to do laundry too. But um, anyway, so that's the show me, show some love um, <clears throat> that I wanted to talk about in a video. And it, it can be simple as a phone call to the SPCA or as simple as grabbing something through a drive through to give some something to the homeless person, something. Anything makes a difference because remember, they're living day by day, the animals and the people. Anything helps. So, okay. And I'm not getting on my soapbox. I just want to open the eyes to people. Like the littlest thing can be so helpful to someone who's struggling every single day. So a loaf of bread with a thing of ham or turkey, you know, um, any of that. One of the places I worked for, his wife loved birds and took an injured and sick ones and kept the ones that could never be sent back to the wild. Oh my God, my dad. My dad and I have been rescuing birds too. I started with birds, I think. Um, they would shoot them, pigeons, in our area because there's too many, and I would rehabilitate them. But now they have a wildlife center here, so whenever I see it, an injured bird, I keep it overnight and then I take it to the wildlife center and then they take it from there and they re-release it and the bird will return if it's, you know, able to, to its habitat. Anytime I see that. I always wear gloves because birds do carry little parasites, you know. Um, I've, I've rescued a skunk, possums. Um, I even kept a skunk. Uh, oh, Cheryl, that's so nice. I caught the skunk, I put him in my trunk, a skunk in my trunk, and I had to put him in the cage when I got home. I did that successfully. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And, um, oh good, can I come then, Jean? Because I have a feeling you're a good cook. <laughs> That's so great though that you do that. Um, and uh, I've gotten birds, um, a coyote, a young coyote. I, I didn't make it though in time. He he was already dead. Um, a river otter. I've seen. <clears throat> I tried to save it, but it was too late for him. And then someone re ran over him when I was trying to save him. 
I, it was kind of at dusk. Oh, it was awful. It was awful. It was like a big, big speed bump. Oh my God. It was just awful. Hold on guys, my throat. <coughs> Okay, so most definitely not on a soapbox. I just want for everyone to realize like, you don't have to do it on a daily basis. Just when you see something, doesn't seem right, call it in, pick up some extra food. That's all it takes. Oh, oh my gosh, Selena, how sad. I'm so sorry. See, I'm so thankful. I just lost my mom three years ago. And I'm having such a hard time getting over it. I'm not going to cry because I told myself I wasn't going to cry today about my mom because I do cry every day. Um, and um, I, oh my gosh, not Selena. I'm sorry, Cheryl. Oh my gosh, you know, same thing with my dad. Um, my dad didn't get to eat every day and he, he was terribly abused and that's why they had to split up all the kids and put them up for adoption because they were terribly abused. And so not by my grandmother, but my grandfather. And they didn't get to eat every day. And so they were lucky if they, my grandma would make rock soup. And um, it's so hard for me to hear these things from my dad because I can't imagine, you know, there've been, I mean, I've never been hungry, so to speak. Um, if I've had a toothache, I've been hungry, but I've never experienced hunger. And so we are so fortunate for everything that we have. I know everyone's got a story that's so sad. But so I remember this one time my dad's like, he still to this day loves <laughs> sweet potatoes. But uh, my grandma would save, you know, they would save their grease in like a jar. That is worse than what I went through. I had love. Um, I think I read that wrong sheet. Um, but he, sometimes they were lucky enough to have potatoes, like maybe four of them, and there was nine kids, okay? So she had a quarter of them up, and um, they were lucky enough to get a spear of sweet potato and dip it into the leftover lard, you know? But the lard was like from bacon or whatever she could cook, and then it, it took that taste onto the spear, and it was just so good. I know, Dad, I know, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I keep wiping my nose, but I just get so emotional over stuff like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. I don't forget where my parents came from. My mom did, my mom's family did have money, but they lost everything twice and had to rebuild, and then they came to the United States, and, you know, they lived a very, uh, oh, very like, um, you wouldn't, yeah, they, they were just, you know, um, probably, nah, I wouldn't even say middle class. Maybe at the time they were middle class. I don't know. But um, maybe on the lower end of middle class because also my mom had eight brothers and sisters. So my mom and dad each had nine kids on each side. Yes. I mean, I try not to even kill, like, if I see an earwig in the house or a spider or daily long leg, I try to get it outside the house. But if it's a tick or a flea or something like that, I'm sorry. Killing it. I know that's terrible. Um, shoot, I did. I missed that comment. So that's the, that was the challenge. Show me some, show some love. And I do get really emotional about that kind of stuff because I do love people and I do love my animals. Uh, for love and hugs from Tennessee. Oh, good night, Selena. Thank you for sharing. So good to hear everyone's story and where we all have come from very different backgrounds and um, we've all had our own struggles and our own things that we've done and gone through. And it's really nice to hear other people's so that we can realize we're not the only one, you know, we're all people and we all been given something to kind of get over the hurdle many times in our lives. And, um, it's nice when people can share, you know, I don't want to be a close off person. Obviously I'm not because I cry at the drop of a hat, but I just feel like it's healthier that way than 
bottling it up because I, I could bottle it up and I have a few times, but it's never been healthy and it's never good. So that is my show me some love portion for the challenge from Miss V. Um, I will link her channel down below. Not the D Miss V that was on here. Oh, thank you, Jean. Thank you. I, I do try to cook for anyone that comes around. I'm not so sure my cooking is as good as yours, but... <laughs> Good night, Selena. I just love to hear that other people are all awesome. You know, I feel it's so great to know that there are other people in the world that can show heart and be nice. And if you see so much ugliness that it's when you meet someone that has a heart and does good, it's like a shining star. It's like, oh my gosh, it restores your faith in humanity. <laughs> it really does. Okay, good night. Happy and safe. thank you. Yes, thank you, Dell. Good night. Okay, so off of the heavy subject, now on to the lighter subject. I know, I know, Cheryl. I feel like there's no one not nice left, you know. Humanity is going down the tubes, but I read a study and it said there is actually more good people in the world than bad. It's only the few bad that we hear about, but the majority of people are good. And so, anyways, good night, Del. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. So, now I'm switching gears to a lighthearted thing, and um, I wanted to tell you who the winner of my 2000 subscriber giveaway was and I am so sorry I have waited so long I kind of forgot actually <laughs> and so I apologize so I did on YouTube it's like a, um, a random comment picker and um, I'm really happy with the person that won three months ago it was like having a oh shoot Nancy I, I didn't read all the comment it'll come back up in a second um, so the, what does it say? Um, Tool said in the house, she tries, she tires me out. We haven't had a pet in a <laughs> I know. Oh my God, Nancy. I know. I have a puppy too, and I haven't had a puppy in 17 years. Hey, Rhapsody and Ribbons. How are you guys? He tries my patience for sure, but you know, he's a puppy and he's high energy and then he's a Jack Russell on top of that. But I love animals and so I have to remember like, oh, take a deep breath, you know, it's okay. Um, actually, and then my senior dog, the one that I had to put down, she had uh, brain cancer or tumor in her brain. Um, she started having accidents, you know, towards the end. And I did my best. I had a carpet cleaner, like a steam cleaner. And then my little senior dog, the little tiny chihuahua that I have, um, she has accidents. Hey, Joe, how are you? <laughs> um, and so I just decided, you know, I'm going to rip out my carpet and not replace it with carpet. Um, at my other house, we ripped the carpet and stained the concrete. And it's beautiful and it was so easy to clean um oh good i'm glad you're good <laughs> um and um we're gonna just stain my concrete and 17 month old shepherd two years ago has, oh no how terrible dal oh hi Oh my goodness, how awful. That's an awful way. I know I lost my little parakeet. She was egg bound from a young parakeet that I had just gotten. And I guess she got impregnated and she couldn't, she was egg bound. And so I was rushing her to um, the emergency for vets or for birds. And she, she was dying on the way, I could tell. And then they said she died in the back. And I was like, oh my God, I was only like 19 at the time. I just cried uh, so hard. They're like, honey, it's okay. And I'm like, no, it's not. You know, I felt horrible. What a horrible way to die. Um, oh, oh my gosh, how awful for horses too. Oh gosh, I know. It's, 
I, don't get me started because I can be very morbid and I can look at the awful videos and then I think, why did I watch those awful videos? It just made me feel worse. But I am a big supporter of any animal foundation. Um, yes, I'm sorry too, Dal. I'm so sorry. Um, it does hurt so much. Oh my God. I mean, I look at all my little cats fingering about and my two dogs over there and it hurts so, so bad. Yeah, but I can't be without a, an animal. Like they just find me somehow. They, I never buy one. I never go get one. They just find me somehow. And so that's how I've always gotten my pets. Even the parakeet. I did buy the other parakeet though. That was the problem. <laughs> so, but um, anyways, uh, after we had our first two cards, I was so hurt that I didn't want to go through it again. I know. You know what? I know, Nancy, but the thing is, there's too many animals and we have too much love to give, not to get over it. And well, it's, it's hard. You just never get over it. But there's so much love to be given. And these animals and children that need to be adopted, you know, um, they need the love. Heartbroken as we are. Hey, Terry. Um, we need to continue to show and give our love, even though it's heartbreaking, but there's so many animals out there. There's so many children out there. So that's why we have to get past that and, um, contribute to their well-being and, and adopt them, you know, sorry, my nose is running again. <laughs> okay. So the winner of my 2000 um, they do, there are so many, oh my gosh, I know. There aren't even some that need to be adopted. I'm finding them on the street. I'm sorry, guys, my nose. The winner of my 2000, um, giveaway is Mary T. I'm sure all of you who have a YouTube channel that's on here and you guys can subscribe to one another. There's, um... Uh, Jean E, she has a, a YouTube channel. Go check her out and go um, subscribe to her. Hey, Kim. Sweet Daisy Creations has a channel. Um, Rhapsody and Ribbons. Um, who else was on here? Angela's Hangout was on here earlier. Um, shoot, who else? I can't remember. Oh, Miss, um, well, Miss V, who I did the challenge for. Is also has a challenge, so she wasn't on here. There was a different V that was on uh, Designs by V. I think that's her channel. She's hilarious. Um, yeah, so Mary, and her name is spelled M E H R I. Yes, Angela won the thousand um, giveaway, and so did Kim K. Um, and and so Mary T always leaves a comment. I know she leaves a comment for me, probably for Angela, probably for Jeannie. I've seen her everywhere. She leaves so many beautiful comments and she's very sweet. She doesn't have a picture up, but that's who the winner is. Mary, M-E-H-R-I, and then T is her, the last initial of her last name. So I will send her... Um, I will send her a, yes, she is always positive. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's never, she's always left, left a beautiful comment. I will let her know. And um, what else? Um, so that was the winner. So I need to do my 3K winner. And so my 3K winner, depending on where they live, whomever wins, I will send them like a little box of 99 cent store things because I think, um, oh my gosh, you want her from Auntie Cuckoo? How cool is that? <laughs> I love her too, by the way. I love, I love her videos. Um, and I love her DIYs. Her DIYs are so good. So, um, yes, I think that's what I'll do for the, um, I know, huh? D uh, Kim, you just missed um, Dell. Dell was on here. And 
who else? Oh, you know Dal, you know Nancy, you know Cheryl. Um, I'm sorry, I'm drinking some water because my voice gets kind of tired. Um, anyways, I think Mary leaves comments on Kim's channel too, and Arlen's, and who else? Um, I know on Davida's, um, which it was her birthday yesterday. I don't think she's on here, but it was her birthday yesterday. And um, yeah, so that's the winner. But for the 3,000 winner, I'm going to be sending a... Um, oh, okay, Nancy uh, said hello to Kim from Sweet, Cre Sweet Daisy Creations. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister for me. <laughs> but, um, and I think if you live like out of the four states that they have the 99 cent store, then I'll, I'll send you a 99 cent store package. If you live within the four states, then I will do something different. Um, but we're literally blowing through the jewelry that my dad had, or he still has a ton of jewelry, but we are blowing through it, selling so much of it, and we still need to go to Nevada to get the rest of it. And there's two big bins. Um, oh, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> I figured you guys might appreciate the 99 cent store stuff, right? You know? And I mean, who, like, Kim, look at this. I got these, um, they call them ribbons. They're burlap ribbons, kind of. They were 99 cents. Hey, Granny Josie. Um, okay, so, Joe, if you... Yeah, Dal, it's in Canada. I know that because I've been tracking it. I'll send you the tracking number too. Um, it's in Canada, so I'm hoping you'll probably get it by Tuesday. I don't know. I guess Monday's not a holiday for you guys, so you'll probably get it Monday, I'm thinking. It says it's in Canada as of the 31st. Um, and um, Joe, I haven't gotten a response. Or if you responded yesterday or, or this afternoon to my email about the ring, I haven't checked it. I'm sorry. But um, I haven't sent it out. I don't know if you paid on PayPal yet. Um, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen seen it. So uh, let me know. Let's see. What did she say? Uh, yes. It a, oh, it is a holiday. I didn't know that. I had no idea. Um so Joe, um, <laughs> yes, I did a couple of days ago. Okay, so let me check the email again. You sent, Granny Josie, you sent a payment to my PayPal account? Because I haven't been notified. Or you sent me an email. Are you talking about email? Let me know. Okay, I'll check my PayPal. Because I, I haven't, um, I haven't been notified that I got a PayPal amount for the amount that I told you, but I will check. Um, hold on a sec, I'm gonna try and check while we're online. But, so I thought it would be kind of cool, you guys, to send something that is maybe not available. Um, okay, you did send it. Oh, that makes me worried. I hope you put in my right email address, um, Joe. Okay, let's see. Sorry guys, I'm just checking real quick because now that makes you nervous. So I'm logging on to PayPal right now. <laughs> and okay, let's see. Uh, let's see, we'll go to summary. And Joe, if I don't see it on here, because, um, let's see. If I don't see it on here, you're going to have to call me because, um, I don't see it on here. So, nope. I see something from Anita. Good night, Jean. Um, 
I see some stuff from Lita and from my tenants, <laughs> but nothing from you, Aunt Jo or Granny Josie. So don't worry about it. If you don't, if if you send it to the wrong email address, then um, you can always retract it and just tell them, you know. But um, I'm gonna email you and give you my phone number. So look for that once we get off the live video and um, call me or text me, either way, uh, whatever you feel. Um... Good night, Nancy. Oh my gosh, Dal, I forgot. So it is 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock there, Dal. I sent it to the right email address. Okay, what email address did you send it to, Grand, uh, Joe? Because I'm not seeing it on here. And I don't know if it's maybe from the holiday weekend, but I'm not seeing it on my PayPal. And I would show you my PayPal account, but I've got my tenants on there, so I don't want to do that. Um, so, Joe, send me an email, or I'll send you an email. Yeah, that's not the address. Like I said in my email, that's my address that you would email me to, but the PayPal account is without the number two. So you can retract that one and um, uh, and send it to, it's probably just in like this La La Land. Um, so it's Creative Lori without the two. That's my PayPal account. I created the Creative Lori with a two on it. That's what my email was saying. You, you have to send it to that address without the two. Um, that's probably why I haven't gotten it. So um, read the reread the email that I sent, um, and you can definitely retract it. So don't worry about it. They'll they they get this kind of stuff all the time. No, it's me. If if it says Yolanda Boone, that's me. Yeah. So that's my, my first name is Yolanda Lori, but for financial stuff, it's Yolanda. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I just go by Lori. After college, I started go, going by Lori. So you have the right person with creative Lori. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, so uh, the next thing, yeah, no worries. It, it probably is just sitting there in like a suspended account, Joe. So, um, when you call them, or you can actually, when you go into your PayPal account, I believe you can hit retract. There's some form of retract, retraction that you can do. And um, um, I don't remember what it's called exactly, but then you can send it to the right person um, afterwards. So I'm glad you're on here so you could tell me about it because, um, yeah, <laughs> it, it just be sitting there. Okay, so we took care of the 2000 giveaway and the show me show some love um, challenge that I did for Miss V and my haul, these lovely little pumpkins that I got, which I'll show again real quick. Um, and I think for the people who saw it might be off, but um, so this is, these are the pumpkins that I got from the 99 cent store. So they were 99 cents. And they have the chevron design on burlap, which is so cute. So I got three of the brown and two of the um, orange, which I just love. And they're a nice size, guys. Look at look at my hand. So they're, they're pretty, pretty good size. Um, so I got three of the brown, two of the orange. I got one of, I would have gotten more of these brown. Look at their nice size. They're, um, I wish I had the Dollar Tree ones. Let me grab one because there is a huge size difference in these. Okay, let me grab one. So these are from the Dollar Tree and this is from the 99 cent store. So it's a pretty big difference in size. These kind of look like something from Target, right? <laughs> um, but I still love these from the 99 cent store also. But I only bought so many of these, only five, because they have the chevron design. And I do like chevron, but, um, you know, only so much. I mean, I like I like plain better. And that looks better, like, together. You know what I mean? I know. They're only in four states. Um, Rhapsody and Ribbons. 
I forgot your first name. I'm sorry. I think it's you and your daughter, right, that have that channel. Then I got, so that one in the brown, which I love. Tina, that's right. There was two Tinas that I know. Okay. And then I got the cream. So I love both of these. I should have got more of the cream. I think there was only one cream, too. One of these and one of these. And then the other colors were just orange. So I'm happy with those. And then I got um, this little topiary. It's very heavy. Oh, really, Carmen? I was wondering about that. It says, be blessed, be thankful. Now, some of the letters need to be filled back in. I know it's backwards. So it says, be blessed, and then um, be thankful. And it has like little, um, like little olive branches or something on the top and the sides. But I like this side too. Looks like carved wood. Isn't that cute? Okay, Granny Josie, Joe, I will check it. I just logged off, but I'll I'll log back in. <laughs> so I got it in the white and the muted orange. I know I'm I'm actually surprised they don't have Dollar Tree in Puerto Rico. I'm really surprised. It does. It, it's like the same material, but these are so much heavier because there's three of them. Oh my gosh, I, I should have bought more, but like how many do I need, really? Aren't they cute though? You like the orange? I like the orange too because it's not completely orangey, orangey. You know what I mean? <laughs> then I got... Soft orange, yes, like a sherbet. Look at this brown one. I love this brown one. If they had more of the brown, I would have bought like 10 of them, even with my dad there. <laughs> I'd be like, sorry, Dad, I'm buying a bunch of pumpkins. My whole basket was filled with pumpkins. Isn't that pretty? I love sherbet. I love raspberry sherbet. That and lemon and coconut sherbet are my favorite. Um... These are the picks that I got. I'm just going to show real quick. Yes, this one is from my dad's um, collection. Isn't that pretty? It's Howlite. And I'm wearing the earrings that I said I was going to keep because I loved them. And there's a necklace, but I didn't wear the necklace today. So I got the little red truck. And it's like a, um, like a little pick. Okay, see you later, Angela. Thank you for stopping by. This was 99 cents, and it's a metal pick that you can put in your garden, front yard. But I think I'm going to cut it here or take the... Thanks for coming on, Angela. Um, take the metal stick part off and then put it in a wreath, or maybe, I'm not sure. And then I got this one. Um little, can you see it? Let's see. Look at this little car. I know, Terry. So I was thinking of this one, putting, taking the metal stick part off and then putting in a wreath or my three-tiered tray. It's like a little pumpkin car. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I just love it. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> and then I bought, um, sorry for reaching guys more of that thank you you know that stuff that um eucalyptus that i had on my mantle so i bought another one of it and it come it came with this um paper red carnation which i don't know why they put it there and then this hey kathy i love the red truck too my dad's like oh you finally got the red truck huh <laughs> And then these two little dually dots called ticking, I guess, suppose, it said. $1.99. I thought it was a good price for a lot of eucalyptus. And I love the color. Um, it's like a muddy olive. That's what I love about it. 
Okay, so I got that. I got these ribbons. I think I think most of you saw these for 99 cents. I know. That red truck, man, I tell you, it's it is all the rave. <laughs> these little bells with jack-o'-lanterns on them. I don't know if you can see the little faces. Are they cute? I got two of those for my little cookie tree. I got another um, you know, soap dispenser. My other one broke. So this one has a copper top. Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> So I could use that for sure. Then I got, um, sorry, I'm gonna drink some of my green tea. Cheryl, either that or you need to move to California. Thank you, Joe, I know. I They did not have red. These were the colors. I think there was one more color I didn't get, but they, I can foresee them getting um, yeah, for sure, Cheryl. <laughs> well, the, the, the problem we're going to have is shopping and I'm, we're not going to get anything else done, but shopping. <laughs> and at some point at night, I'm going to say, okay, we need to eat. And then I got to go feed my feral cats. So you got to come along with me. <laughs> but Joe, I think they had these last year. Um, shop and eat. Yes. I need to eat when I'm shopping for sure. I really do. But I think they had these in like a gray, a darker green. Oh, you should see them. They come running out. They're so, so sweet. Oh, my God. They make me cry every time. Um, they had a green. They had a brown. I know. Let's just all hang out and feed my kitties. <laughs> Let's go shopping. Let's go eat. Then we'll go feed the kitties. And then we'll come to my house and we'll do, um, we'll, we'll go have a bonfire in the backyard and have a glass of wine or something with appetizers. I think for the ribbon, how I'm gonna use them. So I'm gonna take one, um, let me do the orange. So it doesn't have wire, okay? They don't have wire. It's the same material from the Dollar Tree um, in that ribbon, but without the wire. Yeah, Kit, you come too, anyone. Believe me, the more the merrier, because none of my friends live nearby. <laughs> it's so sad. Okay, so here is the ribbon. It's nice. It's really nice. Oh, you, I need my new passport, too. Mine expired. Um, you can't fly anywhere without the passport now. So I think for, um, I have a big spooky tree that goes in the front yard. Oh, I know I hate that. How dare your friends move away? But I'm gonna use this to kind of like um, twirl it around around the base of the tree because I have two big, really big spooky trees, black, for Halloween. I'll be using this. Um, I'll also be using maybe the green for Christmas to wrap big faux gifts. I only drive, I'm not a fan of flying. Aw, you can have a long drive kit. That's a long ways away. You take the bus, I suppose. Um, and for this orange one too, I'm gonna make a pumpkin. Cause I, I love the pumpkins I'm finding. Don't get me wrong. Oh, thank you, Carmen. I think I'm going to, yeah, just make <laughs> see, see, Kit, you can come fly. <laughs> I'm going to make a pumpkin somehow out of, I'll make it specifically um, out of this fabric because I have never seen orange burlap material. This is actually, um, it's like a linen type burlap. You know, it's that, it's got, it's stiff. It's not as pliable as regular burlap. So I think I'm going to do that. I love burlap. I love this type of burlap. I, I'm, I took a textile class in college, but I don't remember what they called it. And then for the one, um, if they had like, um, I know I'm gonna use this brown a lot. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna use this brown 
Not too, not too thick looking should be malleable. Yeah, exactly. How many feet on the spool? It doesn't say, but to me, it looks like three yards. So that's nine feet, right? So let me show you guys. Oh, I believe it's nine feet. That's a good deal, I think. Yeah. Um, so I can't wait to either take a, a pumpkin that I already have that I don't like the color and maybe, you know, put it over the design or something. Um, I do have a paper mache pumpkin that I could do that with, but I kind of like the paper mache color. Sorry, my nose is running again. I'm sorry, you guys. I get emotional sometimes and my nose runs. But I love this brown and I love the natural one. This is like the one from the Dollar Tree. And I can't wait to use these for like a, maybe on my mantle, um, you know, kind of just twist it around and hang it. I can't hang it too low because the cats will pull it down for sure. Um, I was thinking of using this for leaves on my faux pies. Um, Kit, you need to fly. You need to fly here. It's going to take too long to drive. It's, or take a train. That takes long too, though. But that would be so much fun. Oh my gosh, we all go shopping. We can go to the outlets and everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, then I know you all saw this, but there might be some of you on here. Terry, I don't know if you saw this. This was from the 99 cent store. Has little headlights. Oh, you love to drive? Okay, well then, there you go. Yes, let's go to Italy first, for sure. I'm going. If no one else goes, I'm going. How many rolls of that would take, but would look nice as linen pumpkins, love it sign. Thank you. Isn't this so cute? I want to go so bad, too. I really miss Italy. That's like the... Oh, I miss it so much. I miss it more than France. I mean, I love France too, but Italy was just so magical. So magical. Oh. Okay. The other thing that I got that, oh, I got these little, um, to put my faux cupcakes in. Dal saw me make my Christmas ones. And she put them in here in like paper liners. I couldn't think of the word earlier. And see like this, I, I you can take it off, but um, I did glue these linen, the burlap to the line or the um, metal tin. Gosh. So I think I'm making, I'm gonna make some for Halloween to put in here. And I think that'll be so cute. Oh, thank you, Joe. Joe, did you see my pie? Okay, yes, I'm bragging about my pie again, but I'm sorry, I love how my pie turned it out. Hold on, here it is. <laughs> I do love how it turned out. That's my pie that I always show off <laughs> because I'm so proud of it. I have a tutorial, oh, I forgot, that one's loose. My cat knocked it off. But I made fake little uh, cherries for the top. I don't know where that one went. But I'm going to make, so it's in a Dollar Tree um, tin. Right now, she will take the cruise back next week and we'll stay in Florida for two weeks. Then. Oh my gosh, Carmen, really? We're in, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Kit. Um, where is your mom right now in Italy? Oh, I love Italy. I can't believe it. Let me show you my apple pie real quick. So this one I kind of started. Hey Karen. This was just a simple apple pie. It was a rusted tin at my parents' house. I was going through stuff and I was going to toss it. Oh, thank you. And it was, it was the first of my pies. So this started it and then I did my cherry and then I'm gonna do some more, which I can't wait to do. And then I also, Popolo. Pablo, where is that? 
Okay, I'll have to look. I, I'm more familiar along the coast, but um, what else did I get? Okay, I think that was it as far as my haul. And then I told you who the winner was, Mary T. Um, for my 2000 giveaway. I'll drink some more tea. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like green tea, but I do drink it. Oh my gosh, how cute, Cheryl. Cheryl, are you on Instagram or like Facebook? I'm having a problem with my Facebook because I have two Facebooks. Maybe that's what the problem is. But Instagram doesn't seem to be a problem. Like I can get my pictures uploaded and, you know, um, hold on. Okay, the other thing I wanted to talk about um, besides going to Italy, because I want to go to Italy so bad, um, I would love if you guys came. I mean, can you imagine? Oh my gosh, it would just be amazing. We really should go. And I have a friend who lives in London. She's moving to Scotland. Her name is Mariah. I don't know if you pronounce her name Mariah or Maria. But we met through YouTube. And she sent me a package, which I'm going to open up really quick. Um, I'm just checking my PayPal again. You need to get one, Dal, because you're so talented. I want to see your stuff. Let's see. Um... Okay. Granny Josie, if you're still on. All my grandparents are born in Italy. Oh my, oh my gosh, really? Is that Chevron pumpkin from 99 cent store? Yes, these are from the 99 cent store. All of, everything is. Um, I just checked my PayPal account and it doesn't, have anything from you but I don't know if that's because it's the weekend you know like a holiday weekend I wouldn't think that would matter so um, I'm gonna email you afterwards I just want to make sure you're sending it to the right email but it is creative Lori no e at the end creative Lori so it's creative and then Lori l a u r i at gmail.com and my name will come up as Yolanda Boone and that's me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't see a under activity or summary. But I saw something on your page I wanted to buy too. I had finally read in today and told them I was going to take a trip to Italy with my friend Lori. <laughs> they thought I was kidding. Oh, good. Huh. Maybe it's because you just sent it, but I don't see anything yet. Hold on. I wonder if I can show you without showing you all the, per yeah, see, it shows all my personal stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna, Joe, I'm going to email you again, um, and then uh, I'm gonna give you my number, too. So, you know, I'm, I would, I have your package right over there. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's, I, I wanna know, I want you to know that it's for you, and I know you're trying, so something is, um, going on. Maybe it'll show in the next bit, um, but I'll let you know either way, and I'll give you my number so you can call me, and we'll go from there. I'm going to log off. I don't like to be on here too long when I have my other pages open. I'm kind of, I get worried that, um, you know, people can steal identity because I'm on YouTube. The, um, oh my gosh, Dal. That was so hilarious. <laughs> Your address is crazy. <laughs> um, Dow, by the way, like I said, as of the 31st, your package was in Canada at the facility in Canada. So it hasn't updated and it was there at 11.05 a.m. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got from a very wonderful, wonderful, lovely subscriber who we grew very close just like a lot of you that I've gotten close to and you all know who you are and I'm getting to know so much so many more of you 
Um, so I'm going to close my laptop. <clears throat> because you all are so wonderful and I'm definitely a person that likes to connect with people and um, that's just my thing and I'm a people person and I just love people and I want to make a connection with them and so I didn't think through YouTube that would happen because um, you know we're just sending first of all I didn't know anyone would um, send you know subscribe to me I need you to email your address. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Dal. <laughs> but I, I will send you my address, but you really don't need to send me anything. I just love your friendship, believe me. Um, I love all your pictures on Facebook. Well, I, I can't really get in right now. It's been difficult, but um, I, think, I think I need to cancel one of my Facebook's account. That's probably the issue. But I thank you everyone for all of your connections and I have such a wonderful time talking to you. Um, I am a people person too. I have made a lot of wonderful friends since I subscribed to Arlen's channel. I'm just so blessed. Really beautiful. Okay. I know, I know. And Arlen, you know, I have met so many wonder, wonderful people through Arlen and, and Kim's channel. And um, I, I'm so thankful. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I promise. No, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> it's hard because my emotions are always at the surface because I am a big connector of, um, that's right, Cheryl. I know. I'm so thankful for that. And Dal too. I think Dal came from Arlen. And, um, I'm so thankful for both of you, all of you. And, you know, um, I do connect with everybody. I try to, and um, you love all the time. Oh, thank you, Dal. Thank you so much. Oh, Kit, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Kim and Arlene are so much bigger than me, but you know, I just love them. Good night, Tina. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I feel like I have hit the jackpot with meeting people. And Danielle's decor, Danielle's decor, is that her channel name? Yeah, she's got such a good channel. There's a couple more people I want you guys to know about, but I, I have to look them up because I, I never get their channel name right. Yeah, she's so sweet, isn't she? And she is really talented too. Um, she's young thing. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. There's um, Tina from Country Attic, Country Corner Attic. I'll have to look it up. I, sh I shouldn't have closed out my laptop, but I will link her channel below. And you guys really need to check her out because she um, she's wonderful and she's very like laid back because I kind of feel like I'm laid back too. And I just love her, the way she does things. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> so this is how my friend from London had sent the package. It's kind of heavy. She sent it on, um, like, I think it came by boat, not by airplane. And so she said that it came a little bit slower because of that. Um... Gosh, it costs a lot to send. 1830 lira. That's a lot. So that's like that's like $30 to send. Okay, so she has a little note on here. And it, I'm gonna do this quickly because I don't want to bore you or guys if you're not interested, but um, it says, Dearest Lori, I hope everything reaches you in one piece. Love Mariah. Um, PS, I love you. Enjoy you be enjoy your belated birthday presents. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I don't okay. Before I cry, let me just like get a sip of my green tea. That tastes terrible. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. I see a flying pig. Oh my goodness, I gotta look at that first. So she is, my nose is running. 
she's a, um, an artist also, but she has like a really awesome job helping rehabilitating people. I know. Oh my gosh, it's like heavy. Okay, hold on. Let me um, let me get out something smaller to unwedge it. And this is iced coffee because we talked about how I love making my own mochas with coconut milk or almond milk. Just for you, I love mixing these um, with almond milk, ice, and a touch of water blended. Ooh, that would be good. Ready to go. Enjoy. Oh my gosh. So this is their version of like a um, ready to go iced mocha. <gasps> I am going to try this tomorrow. How many servings is this? I don't know, but I'm so excited. Eight. So I get eight. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet of her. And it's called mo Mocate? Mocat? You are okay right now. You tell everyone sorry for all of this. You gotta keep putting the two. <laughs> hey Joe, don't worry about it. <laughs> I will get your package out eventually. <laughs> Don't worry. Yummy. Oh, I can't wait to try that tomorrow. Yes. Thank you, Mariah. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. These look delicious. Okay. No, it's okay, Joe. I want to make sure you're taken care of too. Um, something to share with your dad. Oh, that's so nice. And these look delicious. They're Kaha Roja by Nestle and which Nestle by the way you guys does not test on animals so remember that one buying candies and um trick-or-treat candy too um Mars does test on animals so Reese's and all of that they test on animals it's all under the Mars umbrella and they do test on animals and it's horrible Oh my gosh, my dad's, I gotta not show my dad these and just give him one or two. <laughs> Look at these, they're like truffles with like caramel in the middle. Oh my goodness, I love good chocolates. I don't buy cheap chocolates very much, only when I'm desperate. Chocolate, dark chocolate, which we talked about and I love, and it says con maronia. I think that means orange. Yum! That's a beautiful blend. I know, Cheryl. I left a naughty, bad message. Um, I was notified by PETA. I'm a huge supporter of all these groups, but I was notified and about them testing on dogs for um, muscular dystrophy. Dis Muscular dystrophy. They've been doing this for 37 years, okay? They they input these electrodes, pierce the muscle, okay? They hold the dog down. I don't want to tell you guys. It's awful. And they, they electrocute the muscles. And you can see how these dogs are suffering and how they keep them. And any animal testing is wrong. Anyways, I called the university, the marketing group, and left a really... <laughs> terrible message and I know they're going to call me back come Tuesday after the holiday and I left my number and I said call me I'd be happy to talk to you I'm a big supporter of PETA and it's a shame that you all have to do this and so on and so forth and if you were evolved you would not do this so I left a naughty message I don't regret it I don't regret it but I might need a piece of chocolate and some wine after their call back to me but hey it's for something I believe in. Oh no. And they haven't found, they haven't found, uh, you know, oh God, Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm really sorry. He did, Kit? They're not going to find a cure that way. First of all, dogs, pigs, 
rabbits, primates are not our body. It has something, it's something more internal. It's not just a muscle, you know? So I don't know why they do that. Oh, Cheryl, I'm so, how awful. It must be that damn disease. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I will eat these after I talk to those damn people. <laughs> It is in your brain. Yes, you're absolutely right, Kit. Because your brain is a muscle. So it's kind of like it's setting everything off and affecting then. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. Oh, I'm such a crier. God. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. It's a lot of things. Like uh, my sister had a brain aneurysm and she was born with that. Um, but when she got pregnant at 40, 41, and then she went on an airplane, when she came back, it was like within days later, she had a brain aneurysm and her brain started bleeding and they didn't think she'd make it, nor did the baby, of course, but he did make it. <laughs> we can handle a lot of conversation and prayers on our way to Italy, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay, this says, something small I made for you for fall. Oh, how cute how it rhymed. P.S. I know is a bit early. Well, because she sent this for my birthday. It is a long flight. I get a little antsy on it, too, Cheryl. I'm not going to lie. After like five hours, I'm standing in the back room and I'm standing by the bathrooms of all place, which does not smell wonderful. And sorry, you guys. And uh, just talking to people because I can't sit anymore. I get really antsy. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh, what did I do? Oh my gosh, how freaking adorable. This, I cannot believe she made. She is an artist, but my God, this is adorable. Look at it. It says, hello, fall. And then it has a little acorn, a little like, I guess. Oh my God, a crafting fight. That would be so funny. <laughs> I guess it's like little drops. It's like a chalkboard. It's like made out of MDF. But she has it um, with like, it looks like chalkboard on both sides, okay? And then it's got like um, Crafty Cruise. Oh my gosh, that'd be so fun. Like a little chalkboard. You know those pens you can get? Yeah, that is adorable. And I'm for sure putting this up. I want to go on a crafting cruise. I want to go to Italy. I'm supposed to go to Vegas in February with all with a lot of you YouTubers. I've never been on cruise, by the way, which would be so nice. Oh, my God, that's adorable. And, and I wonder if she made this. Hey, Krista. Oh, my gosh, it must be late there, Krista, huh? Must be like 1130. I think she made this too. Look how cute. I guess you can make these out that good. Almost 11. Oh, okay. We better win the lottery or start saving. That's for sure. Um, so I'm really good with budgeting. <laughs> and I told my dad, I'm going. I'm going to Vegas. Then I'm going to Italy. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and he's like, all right, well, that's fine. <laughs> And I say, you got to watch my animals. Oh, believe me, I'm staying home. I, I have eaten out quite a bit lately because I was working a lot. Um, but I'm, I usually cook at home. <laughs> Tell. This one says, I made you these again to go with your lemon theme. Hope you like them. P.S. These are wipe and clean. 
away. Okay. Oh my gosh, she had such beautiful writing. My writing is horrible. Oh my gosh, I think I know what these are. Oh my god, yes. Look it. These are coasters and they look vintage. I love vintage. And they're lemon and she tied them with jute. I get to untie them. I wish she was on here, but I know it's like she's sleeping right now. Do you still have lemon dishes? It, no, we don't have lemon dishes. When I posted that video, they were gone by the time I went back again. Um, but I know you can order the, um, I know Joan would love these. <laughs> um, I know you can order the, hey Maria. How are you? Did you like my garland? Be honest. <laughs> Look, oh my God, they're all different. Oh no, they're too different. Okay, you guys are gonna love these. Look at that. It says, um, Le Citron. And so it's in French, which I am French. And then this one says, Le Citron de Menton. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Oh, Maria, you're so sweet. <laughs> I tried, I really did. Oh my gosh, aren't these adorable? And they're, they've are they got like a, um, a, like a glaze over them and she painted them gold on the back. Oh my gosh, I love these. She knows how much I love lemon. My friend is gonna be so envious of these. And Krista, I know what you meant. <laughs> There's four of them. How gorgeous are they? Oh my goodness. And she painted the backs gold. So beautiful. I know. So there's a lot of people on here that are from our Lynn and Kim's channel. Maria, Cheryl, um, Dal. Dell was on here. Um, who else? Kit, Kit, do you, are you subscribed to, um, I think you are, to Arlen's channel, I think? Okay, I have to show you this because it's too cute. Okay, I thought so. <gasps> oh my gosh, and it's got a fat butt like me. Oh my goodness, look how adorable when pigs fly. Oh my gosh, and it's on a little thing. Oh my God, how freaking adorable. And it's like one of those that are made from like that stiff um, canvas, you know what I mean? Like they put it in something like a sizing stuff. And look at its little tiny tail, little curly tail. Oh my God. I know Maria, I'm so lucky. I cannot believe she sent me this. It says, she made this, um, it says this is something, and he was made just for you. Oh, this is, I, she gave him a name, but I can't read it right now. Maurice is, no. And he was made just for you. No one can tell you that dreams are, uh, are impossible. After all, pigs can fly. <laughs> oh my God, love Mariah. Oh my God. I can't wait till she sees this video. She'll have to fast forward to this part. Look at his fat little butt. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at the little blush cheeks. That's so freaking adorable. And the little, the little, you have one of these, um, Cheryl? I think, she, oops, Joe, I think she does sell these. I should tell her to get on your shop and to post these. She has so many gorgeous things because she does put, I know the little cart is so adorable. She puts things on Etsy, but I know Etsy is just like so demanding. Look how freaking adorable. I'm gonna tell her, okay, Joe? 
Oh my God, I love this little guy. I love pigs. I recently got this pig that has a broken wing, but I was so desperate to get it. Oh, I will try that, Joe. I'm so, I'm so bad with stuff like that. Look it, it's missing a wing. I bought it for $4 at Hobby Lobby. But look how gorgeous she is. He's so, she or he, I love the tones on him. So I had to have him. So I just put some greenery in here to hide the fact that he's missing a wing. There you go. You can't really tell <laughs> if he's facing a wall. Okay, I gotta wipe my nose again. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm such a sap. Oh no, where'd my tissue go? Let me grab another one. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is freaking adorable. I can't wait to use this little guy. Okay, then she got me. So she's an artist. She's actually moving from London to Scotland and opening her own studio. I really hope you like it. I loved the colors and thought you would like them too. She packaged everything so nicely too. I can't believe she took the time to get everything for me and to package it, send it, pay for it. Sorry for the noise. Oh, oh. wait a minute. What does it say again? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I think, I think it's a star. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Hold on guys, I'm sorry for the sound. I'm just gonna put it down here so you can't hear it. Oh my goodness. So Maria, because you're so crafty, I think you should get on Granny Josie's page also because you're so good at crafts. I know you don't want a YouTube page, but you could sell things on the Facebook market page that Granny Josie has because a lot of crafters are on there. Oh, it is a scarf. Good Lord have mercy and it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Oh my God, look at it. I'm, how am I going to use this? It's like little finches and I love the blue. Oh my God, it is a scarf. It's like one of those big wraparound scarves. Look at this. It can almost be a sarong too when we do, when we do go to Vegas. <laughs> Look how beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I think her birthday's coming up soon too. I gotta send her something. Oh my dear God. This is really beautiful. Hey B. <laughs> oh my God. She's way too good to me. I have, <laughs> you guys are just too good to me. Okay, this one says, first little treat, um, bir happy birthday, Lori. Okay, first little treat. She wrapped everything so nice. So jo Granny Josie has a channel, Designs by V has a channel. Who else is on here that still has a channel? Um, I love pineapples and she knows that. Oh my goodness. What does this say? Cosmetic bag and it's got, look how cute this is. I love, I'm gonna take this to Vegas when I do travel. It'll be my new travel bag. It is adorable and like a coral, salmon color and it does feel like there's something in here oh my gosh there is I just can't believe it oh thank you Cheryl okay wait I did forgot to read this I love you like 
I, I hope you like it and carry the satchel in my bag to freshen up on the go. Oh yes, this smells really good so far. Oh my goodness, this smells really good. It's by Beautyology. It's pink grapefruit and raspberry. So it's a fragrance mist, paraben free. So it's hydrating and refreshing. Refreshing. Okay, so this is something you can like probably spritz on your face. Look at that. It smells really, really good. I can't believe it made it from London. I can't believe. And good thing she probably didn't send this by airplane because I think the it would have leaked. Um, and it probably would have ruined the little piggy. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So delicious. I can't wait to use that. Thank you, Maria. You just are just too sweet to me. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to turn this light on over here real quick, guys. Hold on. Because it's getting dark. <laughs> Okay, this one is a touch, what does it say? Lori will always remember what a pineapple symbolizes because of you. Oh, good. You know what? I think pineapples are so beautiful, beautiful with their intricate um, little design in their skin. I know you can't see that. But when I found out what they meant when I was like in my early 20s, I was hooked. My dad said, you know what the pineapple means, right? And I said, no. And so he told me, and I thought, because they have a lot of pineapples, like decor in New Orleans also where he's from. And he's like, yeah, it means, you know, like um, hospitality and um, welcome, you know. Pineapple is good to eat for lupus. Oh, is it? I wouldn't doubt that. So I thought, well, that's. That's how the South is. It's very hospitable and very, you know, welcoming. Because a wreath means welcome also. It means welcome. Come in, you know. Yeah, and so I started to collect. I was collecting them already. But I, I um, when he told me that, I was just like, oh, my God, they have so much more meaning for me now. Oh, I didn't know that for lupus. I love pineapple too, but if I eat too much of it, it hurts my mouth after a while because of the acid. I have a big pineapple fountain in the front. It's not big. It's a smaller one, but it's very chunky and it's stone. I love it. I have a pineapple knocker that I need to put on my door, but I have lots of pineapples throughout the house. And um, I like the vintage iron ones. Oh, you can't? Oh, hey, Kathleen. How are you? I'm just doing some friend mail right now. Um, and I'm almost done with it. Okay, a touch of Capio. I know you would like Capio. I think I'm not reading it right. Okay, let's see. Maybe it'll make more sense. Oh, keto diet. So Cheryl, are you an O-type blood? Because I think keto is meant for O-type blood specifically. I don't even know what I am, to be honest. I can't remember. I do, I used to give blood and I haven't in a while. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's like a copper, it's a copper apple. O-positive, okay. Look how pretty. Okay, see, so Dal and Cheryl can both be on the keto. I don't think I'm an O. V, are you an O positive? Isn't it pretty? It's a little apple. Isn't that cute? And it's got like pitting. And then it's metallic, copper. Oh, O negative. An A. I think I'm an A also. I should look into it again. 
Yes, O is universal. So you, I think you can give for any of us, A, B. Hi, Ice. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I can't believe she found this. This is so beautiful. I think that's it. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I gotta save all her tags too. Oh, and there's letters in here. I'm sorry, Mariah, I didn't see the letters. Found these in a charity shop. I thought they would go with your lemon theme. She knows I like to thrift too. Well, that's good. I can't donate because you have cancer. Oh, you can't? I guess because of chemo, maybe? It, it kills all the, the stuff off, the good stuff and the bad stuff. Oh, oh my goodness. It's a yellow. This is a beautiful yellow. It's not a tea towel. It's a... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there are two... Um, like almost waffle. I don't know what you call this design. Oh, I'm sorry, Cheryl. The yellow is brighter than what it's showing up as, but they're very pretty yellow. And these are going to go gorgeous, actually, for my fall plaid challenge I'm doing because I'm doing a yellow plaid. And this would be really perfect. Even though I only have two, does it matter? I think I'll make it into a runner. I can't sew. So I'm going to have my tenant sew for me. He doesn't know that yet. <laughs> Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh, what did he say? Oh, yeah. What? That's disgusting. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Terry. Good Lord. <laughs> what? what is wrong? <laughs> people there's something wrong with people seriously so <laughs> thank you you guys oh my gosh these are beautiful these are beautiful material <laughs> i know we came out of nowhere <laughs> sicko huh oh my god oh these are beautiful i can't wait to use these and then she sent me i'm sure very beautiful cards i won't read them um Oh, she sent me recipes, though. That I will share with you guys real quick. Hold on. Because we both like very Mediterranean, European recipes. And I'm vegetarian. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. What's wrong with people? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what they are, and then, um, oh, this sounds so amazing. Okay, so I have a lemon tree outside this window here, and the lemons are huge. They're bigger than, um, so they're twice and three times the size of this one, and they're huge and very juicy. So I do love lemon. It's a lemon drizzle cake with lemon curd and double cream. I know, and this is the time for these recipes. Okay, <gasps> this one sounds amazing. Pear and walnut chutney. I'm making this for Thanksgiving. I know you can't read it, it's backwards, but pear and walnut chutney. That sounds so good. That will be good for sure. Okay, the next one is richly spiced plum chutney. Now, okay. So my dad is from the South and I'm very used to chutneys. They are, oh, how nice Cheryl. I know, I know V, huh? Thank you, Kit. Thank you, everyone. Kicked, <laughs> how about kicked out myself? Oh, sorry, Kit. I love chutneys. So you can eat them in Indian food and they're also very prevalent in Southern cooking and I'm really used to that. And this is a richly, richly spiced plum chutney. Ooh, that sounds so good. Oh my gosh, a three ingredient salmon cat treats. I know this is coming backwards, but look it. <laughs> she knows I have my kitties 
Oh my gosh, that would be so, I'm sure there, because I really wanted to make my own cat food because I feel like um, my cats have had some issues with regular cat food. They developed medical issues from it. And so I have to buy medical food that's like $75 a bag. And I thought, what if I make my own, you know, fresh everything, even though I don't eat meat, I can make them meat. I would feel okay, somewhat okay about that. It'd be all seafood probably, but, and then, oh my goodness, pumpkin apple dog treats. So if you guys are interested in these recipes, you, you, Cheryl, you still make your own cat and dog food? V, <laughs> you're so sweet. Pumpkin apple dog treats. These look pretty good, too. I can post these if you guys want me to. You do? Wow. Well, I want to talk to you about it because I may have questions. Dog. You have Kit? Lem okay, so that's it. So the lemon drizzle cake with lemon curd, pear and walnut chutney, richly spiced plum chutney, and then the cat, um, salmon cat treats, and then the pumpkin apple dog treats, which pumpkin is so good for you because for animals or people, it reduces inflammation, whatever inflammation you might have. So in your joints, in your um, organs. Oh, I'm gonna have to try this, you guys. Pumpkin tried to run off with the <laughs> jack-o'-lantern. That's hilarious. That would be my other dog that I had to put down. That would be Asia. She would have done that. Oh my gosh. So if you guys want to know these recipes, it helps with loose stools in dogs. Oh, yep, it does with diarrhea. Mm -hmm. She did, Sarah? It is like fiber, Terry. Oh, Sarah, tell me the name of the book. I want to hear it. Or if you want to write it on here or um, post it on my comment, what, however. Yeah, I have three cats that have special issues. <laughs> yeah, I want to know, guys, because my next live video, which will probably be next weekend, you'll send a link. Okay, great. I'll post it on the description box once I get it from you, too. Um, I want to talk about tea-free makeup. All of my makeup um, is cruelty-free and my lotions. Hey, Anita. How are you? Um, oh, Dal, your shepherd is gorgeous, by the way. He's adorable. And I use all cruelty-free items for my makeup and my lotions. And I try to buy cleaning products that are also cruelty-free. But there's sometimes that I do buy things that don't say it, and I feel so bad. Um, so I need to find replacements for those. Oh, this is a birthday card. Oh, this card's beautiful. It says, happy birthday, a day of treats awaits. Shopping street, <laughs> pamper place, <laughs> coffee shop, afternoon tea, hip hop hooray street, a, um, park promenade, party time. Look how cute this card is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It has like the little lifted up um, bicycle on it. And then it says, Dearest Lori, wishing you a lovely day and a very happy birthday. Love and hugs, Mariah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, I could eat that right now. That looks, this looks like, <laughs> looks like um, pedophores on the top. Cupcakes, and it looks like tacos down there. I need to eat tacos. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree, Cheryl. I had a dog that was allergic to everything, and we started feeding him a lot of pumpkin and sweet potatoes. And then we introduced salmon into his diet, which he hadn't had before, and that really worked for his derm derm uh, like allergies dermatologically, dermatologically, but it's internal and then affects their skin afterwards. Yeah, I totally agree, Kit. Oh my God, that was like an amazing gift. She's like, um, 
Diana, who is my other subscriber who has sent me or given to me a bunch of beautiful gifts. I totally agree. Um, he had yeast on his skin and now I have a cat with his ear. It's like yeast in his ear, but it's affected by, um, they want to remove his ear canal. We put him on yeast um, medication, antibiotics, didn't work. It made it better, but then um, it keeps coming back because his ear canal is whatever um, goes in will act as an infection, will turn into an infection. And so they want to take out his whole ear canal, which if that's what I need to do, I will do it. It's super expensive. I think it's like $3,000, but I'll do it because can you imagine having yeast in your ear and how painful that is? Oh my God. It's like, it's all connected. Your ears, nose, eyes, mouth, you know, and that has, I've had terrible earaches before. I can't imagine. So I really want to figure out how I can afford his surgery and get it done because if that's what I need to do, I will do it. But, um, he, he's adorable. I can put him in a costume and he'll just walk around with the costume all day long. I put him in a bunny outfit. Um, for Halloween last year because he's a black cat and I put a white bunny suit on him and he just walks around with a bunny suit, you know, <laughs> he's so cute. He's actually my dad's cat. So he was in Nevada and we brought him down here to watch him because of his ear issue um, when my dad came down. And so he's here in the other city where my other house is. And, um, oh, thank you, Mariah. Oh, he's so cute. You know, his name is Porkchop. And um, so when I rescued him, he was the male of the group. And so he had these big, big cheeks because they carry the testosterone in their cheeks. And so once he got fixed, they slowly went down. But he had these big cheeks. And um, that's where the testosterone like came and went. And now he has like a still a round face. He's so cute and he's so playful and nothing phases him. And um, I, I can't even get a collar on my cats. Oh, I know. I, I did put a different, no, Kathy, my birthday was July 21st. But my, my friend from London sent this to me um, from London on the boat and it took a while to get here because she did send it before my birthday. It just took a while. So bless her heart. I just am so thankful. Mariah, thank you so much. Maria. I don't know if she pronounces it Maria or Mariah, but <laughs> pork chop is his name because he had big pork chops on the side. So the vet we did try does believe in holistic, you know, ways. Um, but she said it's so bad that she thinks it just has to come out. And she's like not one to say, hey, that ear canal has to come out. So they're not going to take the ear off. They're just going to take out the ear canal, which I really hate to do. But at this point, he's in so much pain, then... I don't want him to wait any longer. We've tried anti antibiotics. We've tried all of that and, and it helped for like a little bit. And then we had to put him back on it. And then it just, um, it just didn't help any further. His, I'm sure, um, the yeast affects his hearing because it's all clogged up in there. And I have to like, have they tried tubes? No, they haven't. But it seems like anything that goes in his ear just gets inflamed and hurts him. So I have to gently clean the outside and then I have to like go in and just gently clean it because it's down to the eardrum. And he shakes his head and literally pus flies. It's awful. Poor baby. And he's so calm and so sweet. No, like feeding him yogurt? No. Oh my God, I bet he would like it though. So giving him yeast, you think would help him? I know, Dal, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel so guilty. That's why I want to just like take care of it. I don't care how much it costs. I'll find a way. 
you know? That's why I don't have new vehicles because I pay more per month for my animals than I do for myself. Oh, really? Okay. I can only imagine the pain in his ear. So um, I want to definitely take care of it before my dad goes back to Nevada, which I, I don't think he is. Excuse me. Um, I think he's going to move back to California, which is good. My little Doxy goes to Holistic Vet for back adjustments, but she goes through all the systems and makes take a supplement for certain things. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Oh, thank you, Maria. <laughs> I love my babies. In fact, I have the outfit that I had on him. It's hilarious. Hold on, I gotta show you guys. The same in tubes. Just did yogurt and Oh, I'm gonna try that, you guys. I think, oops, I think that will help. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. This was the bunny outfit. So it has a little face, okay, little ears. So you can imagine a black cat who's really stout walking around the house with his this bunny outfit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cheryl. Isn't that funny? And he's just walking around like, what? What, why are you laughing? You know, he is so calm and so sweet. Oh my gosh. Anyways, he walked around with this for a long time and I finally took it off him. I was like, I'm, I'm going to take it off you, you poor fool. But I have a bumblebee one that I tried putting on my other cat. It freaked him out and he just like laid there. He wouldn't move because it had wings on it and it had lights on the wings and he just like laid down low and he's like, I can't move. What do I do? It was hilarious. <laughs> I know. So these cats, I mean, I think Vern would tolerate a costume. So I do have costumes for dogs that I put on him, but I thought that was just so cute. It looked cute on him. Not Vern, but pork chop. Anyways, um, I love my animals and I will do anything I possibly can. But, you know, like I said, for my girl cats, I feel a little bit guilty because I used to buy the good stuff for them, and now I'm just buying the cheap stuff at Walmart. But I know it fills their belly, and I know that they're eating. I know. I hope I didn't lose that picture of him, Maria. <laughs> You're so darn cute. Um, I think I still have it. He's sitting on the windowsill, and he's looking at me with these bunny ears. <laughs> uh I used to buy the good stuff for these feral cats, but you know, the thing about feral cats, yes, they do appreciate any food and they're still catching, you know, unfortunately rodents and birds and such. And it makes me really sad, um, but they are catching that kind of stuff. So it's supplementing them, you know, and there's a cat outside right now. His name is Ginger and he belongs to the neighbor five doors down. And she doesn't want to get him, she doesn't want me to trap him to take him to the vet. We did that with her other cat, who is a feral, they're all feral cats, there's three of them. And she took them on. And her husband is being weird about it. And I don't know if they think like, oh, if we take him to the vet, they might think that we're, you know, bad cat owners. I don't know what the case is, but they're treating me like I initiated this and how dare you, you know, you're causing problems. I'm like, your cat, the cat that we trapped, that I caught for them, had, it's called stomatitis, which is so painful in their mouth. It's like um, open sores everywhere, everywhere. And it had a big growth, like a pus pocket, this big, like it was on him literally, the, no, it was almost, the size of this pumpkin, okay, on the side of his face. Like, it was probably the size of this lemon. And it was pus, and he couldn't eat. And so I contacted her, I know, and I said, Leo is really sick. He's losing a ton of weight. I finally touched him, and 
I know. So I'm, I'm going to get to the point that I think I'm going to tell them, okay, do you want to catch Ginger so we can take care of her? Because I think he has um, feline AIDS or leukemia because he's lost a lot of weight. If she says no, then I'm going to tell her, I'm going to turn her into the animal control because it's ridiculous for your, I don't know what their problem is. And so I've been taking care of them. I call them. I'm like, Ginger, Leo, Joey. They come running down the street. I mean, I'm like five, six houses away from them. They hear me. They come running. And so I have a heated heating pad for them in the wintertime. Yes, it is very contagious, Terry. The stomatitis mm -hmm. and the leukemia, AIDS and leukemia or leukemia and then the AIDS. They're all contagious. So I have locked my cat inside. I don't want her to go outside anymore because I'm afraid she'll catch something. So this cat had this big, oh, it was awful. And he was like skin and bones. And I finally touched him and it was just hair on skin on his bones. And that's when I contacted her and she felt like, okay, let's catch him. So I did. And um, bye, Dal. Oh, see you later. Thank you for staying up late. <laughs> and um, I caught him and she took him to the vet and I did put him down. Um, oh, I have some, Cheryl, I have some cats that are double dippers, triple dippers. Bye, Dal. They eat at my house. They eat at the house couple doors down, they eat at some other house. I see them walk in the neighborhood and I'm like, okay, you're good. But I still put the food out. Um, and I let the raccoons eat too, it's fine. Because they need to eat also and you know, uh, they know to stay away from the cats and everything. But this one, so that cat had to be put down but this one is a part of that group and he is skin and bones also. And he has a big tumor. It's not as big as the one I showed you, but it was probably the size of um, no, maybe the, the cap. I don't, I didn't like to bear that came to eat that. Oh God. A bear came to eat? And the bird seed? How <laughs> sweet little turds. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> but this this tumor is between their eye and their ear. So it's like right here, and it's draining through their eyeball. It's awful. And every time you choose, you can see it moving and you know it has to be painful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna contact her again and say, you know, he's getting worse. I think we need to catch him. Um, I know they like your grapes. Oh my gosh. I bet they do. They like sweets. Um, and that's scary though. <laughs> um, I'm going to contact her and if she doesn't like want to, I don't care if she hates me. I could care less. I'm not to be, I'm not here to be her friend. I am here to be helpful to this poor man that's suffering. And if she says no, I don't want to do it, then I'm gonna I'm gonna report them because I think it's cruel to let your poor cat or dog suffer the way that they do. So and you know what? She's a professional, she's a teacher, so she knows better. She her husband keeps saying, Well, let nature take its course. No, you have a pet that you're caring for, it's your responsibility, even if they're not your pet and the feral you need to do what you can, you know? That's just my idea, but that's probably why she doesn't like me. So I'm like, whatever, I don't care. Um, anyways, so <sighs> Mariah, if you watch this video, I know it's really long. I'm so thankful for all your gifts. Look at this, how cute. It says, hello fall, and it's on an easel. I think she, she may have made the easel. Yes, it is the responsible way. If you own a pet, you got to do the right thing. I'm going to link her 
or I'm going to tell her about Granny Josie's shop so she can post her lovely things on there. And I'm still drinking my green tea. I know I, I need to drink this whole thing before I go to bed, but I should have drank it earlier because it has a lot of caffeine. Um, she got me that copper. She got me ice mochas because we've had conversations about that. These gorgeous chocolates. This spray, refreshing spray. This gorgeous <laughs> little piggy, flying pig on a little scooter. And oh, this cosmetic bag with pineapples and this gorgeous scarf, which I am definitely going to be making something out of this. I don't know if I'll be wearing it as a scarf. I think I'm going to make something out of it. It's just too beautiful. I don't want to waste it on wearing it because it can get, oh, and this, these beautiful coasters that she made. Oh, is it Cheryl? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yes. Cheryl, I will see you maybe next weekend on Sunday. I'm gonna to try to do, um, I wonder if it's easier to do on Saturday or Sunday. <clears throat> Anyways, I need to send her something and I don't even think she put her return address, you guys, but I think she emailed it to me at some point. So I will find it one way or another. I will look her, hunt her down. Yes. Okay, Cheryl. Thank you for hanging in there. Um, so next Sunday, I have a fun thing going on next Sunday. I have um, some, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. Maybe I shouldn't even tell you because it's, it's cute and it's fun. Now I can't find where I put, oh well. Um, I have something fun to do for next Sunday and it'll be a chit chat like this, of course. And I promised it not to cry, but I don't know. I can't seem not to cry. Um, and by the way, I've been burning this candle this whole time. It's in a little mason jar. And it's from the Dollar Tree. It's the sun-drenched mango. It smells so good. But not as good as the, um, the other one that I like, the melon, the honeydew. This one. I, I kept it. Oh, baked paper. And then they have a honeydew, which smells so amazing. Yes, honeydew melon. These two are so good. Baked pear and honeydew melon. But these were seasonal, so I don't know if they still have them. But I always reuse these jars because they're just mason jars. And I put um, homemade fudge or candies in them. I use them for Christmas. I think they're so cute. And so you're getting like two for one. And that's pretty much it, it, it. Um, and I showed you my gift for my sister last weekend and um, for my birthday. I mean, I'm so blessed. I can't believe it. And I'm so thankful for everything that I got and for all of you. Thank you for visiting me and talking with me. And I'm sorry that I am a crier and I'm so emotional. <laughs> but I just, my feelings are true and I'm very passionate. And um, I'm not a fake person. I tell you how it is, and that's how it is, you know. So, um, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. It's eight, almost 8.30 here. And um, I'm going to, once this video uploads, it's going to take a few hours, I think. It's probably going to take a couple hours. Once I upload it, I will put... Granny Josie's shop on there, uh, Mrs. V, um, the, the challenge that I did. Oh, hi, Yanni. How are you? Oh, my gosh. I need to ask you something. <laughs> so, um, okay, so let me finish this really quick, and then I'll ask you. Um, and then I'll put uh, the link for the cherry pie that I did, if you guys are interested, or the apple pie that I did. Um, what else? Who else? And Maria, if you're interested, I think you're so talented and such a beautiful person. 
I think you should sell some of your things. Oh, thank you, Maria. I, I think you should sell your things on Granny Josie, Josie's shop. So I will link it. She's on my Facebook. So if you want to join my Facebook, it's Lori Boone. I think I linked it on most of my videos. I'll link it on this one too. And I think you should sell your stuff because you're so talented. Um, and that's it, you guys. Oh, thank you, Kit. I'm so thankful for all of you. You guys are so wonderful. I mean, I'm not a big YouTuber, but my God, I'm so thankful for all of you and your wonderful comments. And you guys are beautiful people. And it's so hard to connect with people in the real world, like outside of the web, you know, web world. So for us to find each other and talk and get to know one another is really just a blessing. And I'm so thankful for all of you. Oh, thank you, Maria. Yeah, Granny Josie, please do. Um, and as far as Deco Easy, she has a YouTube channel. Go check out her channel also. She's in the Netherlands. Um, so I want to say this really quick before she has to get ready for work. <laughs> um, so Yanni, if you, I hope I'm saying that right. Please tell me. Krista, you're back. Hello. And Krista from Crafty Kitty has a channel also. Go check out her channel. She has a challenge coming up too for Yanni if you want to know about it. It is. Okay, good. I'm so glad I said it right. Um, if you want to do her challenge, it's the bar cart. And then what's the other one? She has three other ones coming up after that. Um, oh, one is Krista. Tell me. <laughs> good night, Terry. Um, anyways, go check out her channel. She that, yes, it's a three-part challenge, but then before that one, right, you have a bar cart for Halloween. So it's a bar cart for Halloween, and then you have the three-part challenge after that, which I love Halloween. Um, good night, V. Are you going to bed? Um, DIY treats and tablescape, yes. Oh, okay. Um, Anyways, Yanni, if you want to, I have been tagged. Oh, okay, Krista. I have been tagged by Pam from Creative Homescaping, which if you guys have not checked out her channel, you should definitely do that. Um, she has a gorgeous home. Beautiful. It's in Southern California, and she lives on a canyon, and her backyard and her view is amazing. Her house is amazing. <laughs> and she has, her and her husband have renovated parts of it, like her um, kitchen, uh, stovetop, oven, hearth. I mean, made it to look like this gorgeous Tuscan beautifulness. And then her mantle, same thing, beautiful and gorgeous. So she has a gorgeous home and um, she has wonderful ideas and, um, Designs by V also has a channel. Go check out everyone's channel. Um, but Pam had tagged me in a, um, it's like a tag questionnaire, but I've already done it and she didn't know that. So I told her, her to tag possibly you, Yanni, because I know it pertains to a lot of American stores. Um, and I said, well, you know, if anything, she could change the stores for the stores that are in um, your area. So Yanni, if you're still listening, um, it's called the, um, it's by Living It Country. That's who produced the original tag. And she's just a, such a cute little channel gal on her channel. But um, I don't remember the name of it. So I'll have to email you tomorrow um, or tonight. And it talks about your decor, your home, and everything. And um, some of the stores don't pertain to you because you are in the Netherlands. But, um, okay, if you want to do it, uh, V, yes, for sure. Um, 
And it talks about like, you know, your home, your decor style, the shops that you go to, all of that. So I wanted to tag Decor Easy, Yanni, um, and then Miss V, designs by Miss, or by V. That's my cat. And then I wanted to tag um, Girl in a Country Attic. I think that's her name. I always mess it up, so I'll look that up in a second. But you three ladies, if you want to do it, please. It's a wonderful tag, and you really get to know one another. Um, so, oh, there we are, a country girl's attic. Okay, so consider yourself tagged along with Divine's, Designs by V and Yanni from Deco Easy. So, um... Maria does not have a channel, but I keep telling her she needs to, and I think she's gone to bed, <laughs> but of course, oh my gosh, I love all you ladies, but um, like a country girl's attic, I love your style, I love how resourceful you are, and down to earth, and um, everything that you make. And Designs by V, I love you too. I love that you travel a lot and you're a good partner with your husband. And um, I think it's amazing. Your phone froze. Oh, I'm sorry, Krista. And Krista, she does amazing from Crafty Kitty, amazing thrift hauls. She finds really great things and great things from Dollarama because she's in Canada. Oh, how fun. Hi, Angela. How yummy. What, what did you make? So Angela's hangout also. And um, so I tagged Divine, Designs by V. Um, Crafty Kitty, if you want to do this tag, by all means, let me know. Also, um, a Country Girl's Attic. Yeah, Kit, I think you're going to love her. You better not like her more than me. No, just kidding. <laughs> I don't care. I want you all to, to love what you love. Um, <laughs> and what else? Um, who else? Oh, Yanni from Deco Easy. Um, and Crafty Kitty, if you want to do it. Oh, thank you, Tina. You're so sweet. She has some great, she gets some great thrift stuff, man. Okay, you want to do it too? All right, so Crafty Kitty, Country Girls Attic, Divines by V, and Deco Easy. Consider yourself tagged. I will email you all afterwards, and I will link it in this video afterwards. But when I stop this video and it uploads, for whatever reason, it takes like two hours after a live video. So I'll put all of you in the tag um, underneath. And I just got tagged like three times, so that's why I'm not doing it again. But... Um, um, I got tagged by Pam from Creative Homescaping, wonderful channel. There's multiple questions, V. There's like 20, but it's a really great way to get to know you as a YouTuber. Um, so Creative Homescaping tagged me, but I had already done it. And then Rosalie from, um, shoot, Satina Home tagged me. And... Someone else. I can't remember the original person who tagged me. <laughs> but Angela, it's a tag. Um, <laughs> it's a tag for like uh, getting to know you as a YouTuber. Like, do you own your home? Uh, what's your decor style? Where do you like to shop? So on and so forth. And um, so if you want to be tagged too, consider yourself tagged, Angela, by all means. And um, I was just tagged three times, so that's why I'm, like, sharing the love. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to see you guys' answers. But I got so many wonderful things um, from my subscriber. And now i got to send her something amazingly awesome. <sighs> Goodness, she sent me so much beautiful things that she made, too, which I can't believe. And what else? I am going to have a challenge coming up, not anytime soon, but I'm going to be doing one later once work dies down. Um, and Angela and I are collabing together and doing a Freebie Friday. And I think our next Freebie Friday is coming up this Friday. Yes, it is by Living at Country. Yes. 
B. Mm -hmm. Her channel's adorable too, by the way. She's so cute. Adorable farmhouse decor and her house is adorable. She's adorable. Her baby's adorable. Oh, you did it already. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really gone around. Um, yes, so yeah, so Angela and I have our Freebie Friday coming up on uh, that'd be next this coming Friday and I uh, can't wait because I do have some things I can't wait to show and um, but I do have a challenge I want to do at some point in time when things slow down and we'll go from there. Oh, I will definitely check uh, check it out, uh, V. Yeah. Um, and uh, I might, I know it said to tag one person, but I feel like I should spread the love. I don't know if Mrs. V has been tagged, so I might. Um, Lori, do you, oh, I don't, Maria, but I just have a regular address. And, um, I tried to get a P.O. box, and I was like, you know what? If people want to stalk me, they can stalk me. I, I live with a police officer, <laughs> and I feel safe. I have cameras on the outside. <laughs> um, so, uh, Maria, I know your birthday is coming up too, isn't it? I think I heard from... Oh, yeah, most definitely, Maria. Email me. Um, I'd love for you to, I'd love to chat. Yes. Uh, so I'll link that down below, but it's also on most of my videos on the, and in, in the description box, it's creativelory2 at gmail. Oh, I know. I know. I know, Angela. I'm sorry. I didn't, yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't want to stalk her. Maria would not be a stalker, but I mean, um, what is happening? <laughs> well, I'll let I'll let Angela tell you about that. But um, no, Maria, I know your birthday is coming up, and I would like to send you something too because you are so generous to everybody. And oh yes, oh yes, I will. And you better put you better. I'm not going to give you my address until you give me yours first. And then we'll go from there. How's that? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. But I, am I right? Is your birthday coming up like in the later part of September or blackmail? <laughs> it is blackmail. Why not? <laughs> it works, right? <laughs> um, I really want to open this up right now and have a piece of this chocolate, but I haven't eaten, eaten, and I know it's going to throw me off. But, um, Yes, Krista, by the way, I gave you my address. I know you asked me for my email a while ago. I did give it to you. I know I don't know if you ever got my email address, but I just wanted to say I did send it to you. I sent you an email. Oh, toxic gaming. Someone needs to block that one. Really, Krista? Okay, so Krista, is your email address on your videos? Oh, I know mine went wonky too for a little bit. Do you have an email on your, yeah, you sent it to me. Okay, but you sent it to me. I'll look at it. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Who are these people coming on here? That's <laughs> so funny. Um, anyways, I will email you. Toxic Gaming, this stream is about women's menopause. Yes, so stay tuned. <laughs> I'm so evil. <laughs> yeah, so if you have anything to contribute to women's menopause, please do, because we are having a major discussion about it. We'd love to hear your, you know, your view. <sighs> I 
Hot flashes. Yep. <laughs> oh, really, Kathy? Okay. Yes. Have a good night, Kathy. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. I'm putting out a new video. I should be a teacher, Mr. Toxic Gaming. I really should. I could teach you a thing or two. So guys, I hope you all have a lovely evening and thank you so much. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sierra. Okay, thank you, Yanni, yes. I will definitely send you a comment about the tag. Um, have a lovely evening. I know it's um, almost, it's a quarter till, um, till nine here and um, I will definitely keep in contact with you guys. Oh good, I'm so glad Kit, get some good rest, yes. Um, I will talk to you guys soon, I'm putting out a new video very soon and um, I hope you all have a wonderful night and um, I look forward to our conversation. Good night, Krista. Good night, everyone. And um, I will see you all later. And I will post everything after this video uploads as far. <laughs> v, don't talk to him. <laughs> I will post all the information at the end of this video. Bye, Carmen. Yes, we're getting more jewelry from Nevada and from my, from my other house. Bye, you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. This is too funny. I will all, I will see you all later. <laughs> Bye, Wendy. All right, guys. I will see you all later. Carmen, I mean, Maria, I'm sorry, Maria. Um, I will link my email. You'll, you'll find all my other videos, too. Okay? Bye, guys. Have a wonderful night. Ciao, Bella. That's right. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Kathleen.